Hello, testing. Hello, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm testing. All right, that seems pretty good, actually. All right, we're good.
think that. has gone on for so long, holy moly. Am I even live? Am I showing up on my own Twitch channel right now? Also, if I... Hey, there we go. Alright, let's just adjust these while I'm at it. What's up, everybody? If you're watching, welcome to Evac at Adelaide Uni. We're in the uh, the scuffed room today. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many people know about the scuffed room, but like, should be scuffed. I will just be honest. Okay, um, yeah, so we're gonna get the tournament started, yeah, but like, um... Where's 
my couch very sweet. There we go. Either you or Kath or me and Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, I'm good with Yeah, um, yeah, if you're watching, we're in the scuffed room today. We're like in some building called Hartley at Adelaide Uni. We got the stream set up in the kitchen, which is like hype or anti hype, depending on which way you look at it. Um, but it's not too bad. It's just a. Uh, just whack. It's just a whack evac, guys. That's the best way I can kind of explain <laughs> this whole. This whole sitch. But, um. Yeah, we, uh. We're fucking out here, eh? Um. Jack's gonna start the tournament pretty soon. Um, and it'll be me, the. Me and Caleb on stream first, or. Flowrats and Catherine on stream first. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. Um. And also, like, you got people who come in into the kitchen just, like, make it some tea, which is like, yeah, chop that tea, but it's just funny. It's a funny fucking day. I'm just, like, full of nerves. Well, these guys are playing the mains now, so maybe, like, this will be... Yeah, I don't know. Fenno seems like he would mess everyone up with you, actually. Jack's gonna start the tournament, and we're all, it's almost six o'clock already. And I'm just like, Jesus, bro. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Fenner wins this, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to see if I can get a quick friendly on the good setup behind me. Oh, 
All right, tournament's starting. Uh, I don't know who's on stream first, but yeah, we'll find out soon.
Turn the sound down on these uh, things. No. Like, maybe like I don't know. Hey, how do you turn the sound down on the on the uh, the headsets? Okay, it's pretty loud. So this is okay. Right. Let's see. So turn that way to lower it, and that way to raise it. Hello? Can you Hello? hear everything all right? I can hear you, yep. Cool. All right, that's all right. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so up next is Catherine and Flay Rats. Damn. It's a spicy match. You could go either way. Who won last time? Um, oh, I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah, you really don't know. I I feel like Flowey did. Actually, Flowey had a run at the last Cheese League, so I think it might have been him. Could have been. I'm pretty sure he had quite the run. Oh, no, Catherine's had some pretty good runs lately. Yeah, Catherine's been popping off, like especially Definitely proving herself. Yeah, I think I accidentally like put the um, the mixer out there's volume too high out. Yeah, that's why it's, it came it's, uh, it's blaring too out. Yeah, sorry about that. Fuck, I fucked up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I don't know what it is either. Uh, what are you doing to me? Tell me not to talk to you, and this is what you this is what you do. What are you What are you doing, huh? Look, bro. You got a You got a problem with me, punk? You got a problem? You want to take it outside? Well, I don't. You know, some of us have a job to do here. What the hell. Don't need these hooligans. I don't know. Maybe you want to take one of these heads. One of the sets. I don't know what the deal is. Right, game one. But is a guy with a hat. Man. That's a rough match for Fenner. I don't know if he's got what it takes. Alright. Game 
game one, though. Very even. Two. 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 Ah, yes. Since the wrong way. If that was if that was the correct way, I think that would have been a stock. And that's actually going to be a huge thing because any little percent that he adds, that's uh, less room to crouch against, or better fill ups for Sheik. You know, it all it just stacks up. Snow rolls. Snow rolls. Oh, weak hit. He gets an extra hit in though, so that's you almost count that as a win for Jack in that situation. How's Catherine gonna overcome this percent differential? And how's Jack gonna keep it? Looking at is it reaching the percent where he's looking to convert into a stock. He gets a grab that's pretty big. Oh. He doesn't have a jump. Oh, that's it. There you go. That's a pretty nice lead. Jack looking pretty, playing pretty safe, just playing at the edge of his range. Oh, wow. I don't, know. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe it's because I didn't play this matchup. I didn't think you could interrupt Sheik from grabbing the ledge like that. It's kind of nuts. Interruption. Big chance for Cass. Alright. Oh, that roll sucks there. Oh my god, that's huge! That was literally like... Oh my god. I was going to say, that was almost like... Complete reversal from Jack about to take a stock, all the way to Catherine about to take a stock, auto returned, auto restored. Back to the way it was, thankfully for Jack though. 70% from Needles? That stinks. Alright, what's she gonna do with this throw off stage? Oh, that's a big reversal. Okay. Alright. Maybe she could have grabbed the ledge there, but it's hard with Peach. Okay. Yeah, even game. It's been a very even game all the way through. We just, you know, slightly it's going back and forth. Okay. It's percent though. This could easily lead to game one jack. This is the tech. No jump, that's it. That's it, game one. Here we go. Back and forth, back and forth, but he just had the edge. Right? That's what it is. Technically I do, but I don't know what the schedule's like. Because if I might be playing, like, I, I guess I could play right now, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm on the mic now. If you want to come, if you want to talk, you can pop on a headset. Yeah, yeah, you can hear me. Hey, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Dynasty. I'm a new player. I'm a common O2, <laughs> but it's always fun. 
It's part of the culture. It's the the cost of entry is embarrassment. The song song. So I've got Flow Rats, who's Catherine. I versus the loser. Ooh. What do you think of that trade? I feel like this is gonna be really good for Catherine now. She's gonna be able to keep Flow Rats in the corner for a long time. Oh, she can keep holding center stage neutral and take the stock before I can even get the workout. Thank you. You will be playing the winner of this. You'll be playing the winner of this. Um, yeah, how are you going? Do you want to keep commentating? Yeah. Finally. Welcome back. Chat, somebody is saying words yeah. at the stream. What's up? Um, Florence has been like making runs lately, actually. Florence is the king uh, of tournament organizing, but also melee. <laughs> he was really like, I don't know. It, he comes in waves. He goes up and down with the times. Oh yeah. People get better, and then they go, and then Flareus gets better. Exactly. He's, and he's anti meta in a way. He just actually, yeah. It's like he's the Dave the effect. Player. I was playing Catherine earlier. Not looking too hot. Not today, it doesn't seem. Um, she doesn't wiggle out to hit stun. I hit her all the way in the air in, on final destination. She was just <laughs> floating down in hit stun all the way to the ground. I was like, oh, not in hit stun, it's tumble. Oh, yeah. yeah I tumble. was like, come on, Death, you gotta wiggle there. I feel like that's something that Catherine could do better. It's just like, she always seems to be take that one extra hit that she doesn't. She, she, we all know that it doesn't work. Yeah. Her DI is very, very bad. But you know, her her brain is very big, so you know, make up for it sometimes. I want to see Catherine on net play. Catherine's got the classic Muscat intelligence. I think she would destroy a lot of net play warriors. Also, I think she would probably improve pretty quickly. She seems to learn by playing. Is this the best of three, I assume? Yeah, yeah, it is. So the next round is best of five. Like. Because we only got like 10 people, but like half of those people were PR at least. Where's Musket? Actually, Did he just not show up because he couldn't get the free money? I actually don't know. Why isn't he here? I'll ask Catherine afterwards, but... Oh, Falco? What we is this? a crazy Game 3 Falco Peach battle. No. <laughs> Weird choice for Jack. Originally a Falco main, for those who didn't know. One of That's the great a... hopes of 2014 SA Melee. Oh, I actually, that actually takes me really back. Yeah. Because, like, it was that one, like, Unibar tournament, which is funny because, like, we run shit in Unibar now. Everything comes full circle in Adelaide. I remember when I was the the new player who was coming up, and then Jack came to the scene, and he was the new player that was coming up, and I was just old. It was, like, a <laughs> month later. I was very salty. I was like, man, I guess my time's up. I think Jack can actually win this. Like we said, Catherine's not playing too hard, and I don't think that this is exactly like... Ooh. Uh, oh, crazy that he didn't dunk. Oh, <laughs> Get out. Oh. Oh, how is he alive? Catherine doesn't know how to edge guard Falco. Uh, from what I saw in her standing against Murma at uh, Peach time, this is a long time ago, so... Play yeah, that was like a year ago now. Grow, but um, she doesn't know how to edge guard Firebox. Dude, time flies. <laughs> Jack's making this back. Yeah. Oh, oh, not unless he hit, misses the angle, bro. He needs to buy a Nez. You know everyone in America has Nezes? Yeah, it's bullshit. Nez, they just do bullshit angles constantly. They just spam angles at you. I'm just like, yeah, sick, bro. Let's deliberately lose neutral, get hit off stage, and do a bullshit angle and kill you. Oh! Off the top. And that's Yoshi's. <laughs> Jack was actually playing Fox and Friendlies earlier today. I, li I like the Jack Fox. That also brings me back. He's like... He's like that PC Chris Fox. The type that will just like up smash four times in a row. Yeah, he knows the option that'll kill at any percent, and he just, just really out, tries bro. to force it. <laughs> These four tilts. Oh my god. Cass getting a little bit owned, and yet winning. Oh, not quite. Florence is playing like so reserved on Yoshi's. Actually, he really isn't like he's not even spamming lasers too often. 
just waiting for Catherine to approach. And Catherine's just getting scared because he's watching. She's watching Flora. It's like, just wait. Oh uh, yeah, Jack just knows what Cats is waiting for, and that is yeah, any kind right. of mistake or overextension or like. <gasps> oh my god! If, if he went again, he could have gone again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I feel like we gotta stop full hopping with invisibility online. You know what's crazy? What? So like every random pools player I played is like better than this. <laughs> In America. Yeah, just put it's like random, like literally round one, like gamer girl is better than Jack and Cat. Like literally. Just oh my god. Every that random does round one matter. player. And Jack is owning. Jack's the king. I actually can't believe the level of ownership that took place. Jack just knows when to F smash, knows when to down smash, and knows when to stand still. And those are the three ingredients that uh, resulted in a win. GG's. GG's, everyone. So you're saying that like not only is the pool much deeper, but like their average skill is just yeah, like especially in Cali. Ah, uh, that would be, yeah, that would be fucked. I got owned by this moth called Al at a local, and then at saving Mr. Lombardi. Amazing player. He's like super turbo Decca. He's like Decca oh, across yeah. spot, but no one's ever heard of him because he's just another random Cali player. That's fucking epic, actually. I like I'll throw about it. He did some very custom things against Sora as well. Okay. He's just like some guy. Just some guy. Um, I was like. Wondering just in general, like how your bracket went because, like, I didn't see you on. Oh, uh, in Genesis, I lost to Muticing and then I lost to Suck My Son. <laughs> a great, a great run. <laughs> Fuck America, man. That's bullshit. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi. In hi. America's defense, Suck did beat Franz, which is an upset. I did see that actually. In Suck's the good, man. Suck really wants it. He's got that gamer hunger. That's what you need. He's young and hungry. The, the two ingredients that make up the gamer. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. And we got Kaiser playing against Davox. Both players, legends in their own right of the South Australian scene. Um, let me just try and find the scene here. Yo, Jack, what are my buttons? How do I? What are my buttons? Uh, mouse is down here. That helps. But what are my buttons for changing screen? What are you trying to do? What you got? What am I? Oh, they're F's now. So, oh. so that's your those two, and then I think F five's the yeah, those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Devox. I had one of the worst conversations of my life with Devox today. He just kept talking. He just kept coming. <laughs> It was like a bad Uber driver that I was just trapped uh, in, just in like a friendly setup with. <laughs> <laughs> what was he talking about? Just crap? Just never ending. Just asking me about every meal that I ate in America. Like, how was the food there? Oh, I just had a lot of fast food. Oh, tell me about it, Nick. <laughs> it's like, just like, it's while different there, isn't while it? Like, like, get on with it. <laughs> while he's like, what do you mean me you haven't cheek? explained this already? Yeah. It's all right. I took, him on a, I, I took him on like a journey through my trip, uh, all the way from the beginning to about two days after the beginning. But that was like half an hour conversation, you know? Because oh, Davox is like a, he's a researcher. He's a deep delver into people. Sounds about right. Um, Those aren't glasses. They're actually little magnifying glasses. But really digging deep into people's uh, into your psyches. Trip. How was the trip? You Brad, you don't know. Brad, shut the fuck up, Brad. I am more equipped for any humor than you'll ever know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just got totally owned by Devox trolling because I just don't understand. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Brad. 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 Oh, Brad. Fucking Brad over here. Brad. Uh, we didn't. We okay. Let me tell you about stinky plane experience. You don't want me to tell you, but XP2K well, does. But yeah, I, I was uh, like, I know what happened, but I don't know how it happened. So sort of. like, I don't know how. Like, if you were in the airport for two days, I don't know if you got a text and it's like, oh, I guess we're going to the Lombardi. Uh, no, we we waited at the airport for like five hours, and then they were like, they booked us a flight for the next day, and I was like, you know what? I am gonna just yell at the Qantas guy until they get us free flights for the next Sunday. And then, they weren't free, they were like $30 each. But that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, exactly, like, you definitely, like, 30 yeah. bucks for 
another weekend in SoCal, like that's... Brad, I could spend five minutes with anyone that you know deeply and I would know them better than you, all right? <laughs> all right, they're going into a wizard actually. Hit the thingies. Right, cool. And Kai doing a good angle but not reacting to Davox's choice. And yet getting back anyway. This is the, the yeah, Yomi like... of South Australian melee. So many layers of like slightly wrong play. And then yeah, I was about to say, like, what's Davin grabbing at the edge for? Surely you just like jab or nair or down smash or anything. That point. Because he saw him go high, it's like, oh, free Falco. Yep. Absolutely. But that's not how it went. Yeah, he should have F-tilted and it was killed. Yeah, exactly. That's life. Slow right hits first. And I, I don't get the grab near the edge nearly as often as I should for how many bad grabs I do. Or is it very ice cream cone? Yes or no? Yeah. I mean, like, it's not as good as a variety of other flavors of ice cream. Is the problem. Like, it's probably good. Yeah. Like, you go into 48 flavors, you you barely look at it. It's a B tier ice cream flavor. Boysenberry? Ugh. You know what? N. <laughs> Looks like an online check chase if I've ever seen one from Davin. It's like, misses the run, just decides, eh, to hell with it. Throws the needles. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a Flurat's classic. I would be surprised if he studied Flurat's mods. I would be very surprised if he was looking at my mods. And Davox. Davox said to me today, he's not a melee player anymore. He plays Dota. So not to expect much from him, and he's not going to provide good practice. So take it with a grain of sand. But, um... <laughs> but that might be why he got side B spikes just there against Kai's. I mean, I guess, but like... He's definitely been to like every, damn near every melee mate he's been, like we've put on in SA since he's been here. Yeah, like, people like the John. If you're gonna if you're gonna John, do it right and just actually don't show up like me. Yeah, that, that is the best way. You can't be accused of anything. You can make up whatever you want, and it's like, well, he's not, he's not here. Like, how do we argue yeah, with him about exactly. it? Exactly. I'm not here. I don't have that play. I did get some practice in America though, but uh, not as much as Sock did. Yeah, I heard he went to like multiple hour Uber trips to like. Sock just goes ham. He loves uh, gaming. He's doing the wobble strats, lose early to get the maximum amount of sets. It. Oh, double dips. And Davos looking a bit stressed. Dare I say it? Looking like he shouldn't have played as much Dota. Shout out to SSBM Cookbook in the chat. One of the great personalities of the Australian scene. Someone who, I'm not ashamed to say, I missed his uh, involvement all year, apart from Bam. I, I, I feel like I'd really like Cookbook a lot more if Wobbling was Bam. You know, I feel like he's, he has a lot to offer, but he just I think makes Ice Climb is, as a character, so much more interesting without Wobbling, but, like... You're not gonna, like, until you ban it, Ice Climbers players aren't gonna do anything but wobble. Why would you not? It's like yeah. asking, like, Mute King to not chain grab people on FD. It's like, it's, he's gonna do it. You can ask him it. nicely, it's, he's gonna do it until you ban it. Exactly. Ban Mute King. Exactly. Have, have ban Domestic Fives, which, which indirectly bans chain grabbing, and uh, ban Wobbling. It, it bans it for, like, 90%, but, you know, that 10% was. S-Fat's like, no, I can beat him on FD. I'll just ban something else. And then it's like, oh, God, here we go. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, if, if, some, if, some if people are going to learn it, the hard way, man. <laughs> if you don't ban it, then you deserve it. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. You don't have to think about it as well. You just be like, oh, I banned FD. It's you know what, Cookbook? That's the sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> but not that we don't love seeing you in Australia. Or in the chat. Especially in the chat. Can't wobble me from New Zealand, so really love seeing you in the Not chat. Not without net play, you <laughs> can't. <laughs> I feel like we've missed like five minutes of them just running at each other and hitting buttons. Yeah. Like it just feels like we've been talking and a lot of sounds have been happening. It's a lot of bing, bong, needle sound, uh, yeah, laser sound. Yeah. And for what? You know? Yeah, one one game. What's that uh, that monologue about like all you know the life of the stage? <laughs> I don't know man. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what's the point at the end of the day? 
You know. I'm just gonna get thrown off stage oh. by a big man that can't do the upbeat thing. Exactly. Oh, it's like all, all like, you know, noise and whatever, signifying nothing. That's, that's this game. Signifying nothing. And that's what Davin's trying to do to Kai right now. He's trying to signify, uh, nothing. Well, you can <laughs> press all the buttons in the world, but they don't mean it. Exactly. Oh, he turned around and then he bared him. Yeah. That's the unnecessary fancy shit that... Getting him back for that double dip from the first game, I'd say. Sort of went down there, but... Is this five? I guess so. I don't know what the fucking rules are. Well, my, uh, my argument to that cookbook is that it doesn't matter at all because it's just a game. So, Ben Wobbling at all times. If you think melee matters in the grand scheme, I mean, think about how big the universe is, bro. Think how insignificant your life is, alright? Wobbling doesn't matter. Tell him, Jack. Yeah, like, really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's only game, exactly. It's just the game. I don't know why you'd be mad. And Kai, uh, very practiced FD Falco. Yeah, like, uh, I check my commentator notes, and it's from yeah. 2015, and he practices on the stage a lot. He used to almost exclusively practice on FD for whatever reason. It was almost like he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my combo game going on the flat stage, and then we'll figure out platforms later. Which Forget. is good. Well, it's good until, you know, you realize that five out of the other six stages have the platform. Like, it's good to, like, like long-term, very good. But at the time, I was just like, bro, you got to be able to, like, do something when you get a shine at zero. Because he's a, a Street Fighter kind of guy. Yeah. He's a, he's a Street Fighter hipster, a fighting game hipster. Yeah, he definitely hasn't played anything from the last ten years competitively. Definitely still on third strike. Well, he played Street Fighter 4. Yeah. Uh, like, that's not from the last that's 10 from years anymore. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Ultra yeah. is from like 2011. Right? Imagine yeah. being boomers. <laughs> All of us boomers. You're a boomer, I'm a boomer. Yeah. You must be nearly uh, 27 now, right? You must uh, be 26. Yeah, I said nearly 27. I okay, know you're yeah, like yeah. slightly younger than me because I went to 21st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the only thing I remember at your 21st is uh, the bus ride home and feeling unbelievably ill. Yeah, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck happened. I was like, I woke up, I was like, I feel fine. So I dropped Ghost home, and then it was like, it all hit me. I'm like, oh yeah, alcohol poisoning. That's that a was thing. a lot of free alcohol there. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. You can. I don't think we... We have a different definition of matter, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks clutching. Yeah, like, he was definitely down two, but it's like... Or is he throwing? Oh, Kai goes for a dashy, and... Oh, oh gets his jump back. Goes the ledge. The margins yeah. with Sheik are so wide. You can get away with a lot of uh, oh, yeah. slight misplays. Why do you think I play the character? Exactly. And it's like, I got no hands, I'm just going to press the character that could stick out a leg and cover like a million things. Yep. And it's like, oh, I get to land and grab if I fuck that up? Cool. What do you think, the different music's going to help him here? Except for like final boss theme? You know, sorry, Cookbook. So, like, to answer your question, what I think does matter is human happiness, you know, on a, on a grand scale. Uh, whereas I don't think individual matches matter, you know. Universe is uh, vast. What, what else is there, really, that matters other than human happiness at the end of the day? I feel like it would be exhausting to be, like, the source of great sadness in, uh, in a whole community <laughs> of people. And sometimes I have been. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Kai really needs to close those out. I gotta do T.O. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jack leaving me. But it's okay. I can slowly come a date. And I have the chat with me. Uh, press 1 in the chat if you think Davin is gonna win. Press 2 in the chat if you think it's gonna be a draw. And press 3 in the chat if you think Kaiser is gonna win. See, a lot of 2's here. Uh, <laughs> 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 
and Kaiser with a good lead, uh, trying to even it up. Uh, the prophecy of it being a draw is looking a little more likely the longer we play. How do I feel about Jack leaving me? You know, if you love something, let it go. Um, maybe one day it'll come back to you. That's always been my philosophy. And I'm, you know, I'm still waiting, but um, you never know. Oh, and Kai trying to play footsies. But the thing about melee is it's all about neutral. It's about waiting for a mistake that's inevitable and then punishing it and then not getting reversal. And Kai again, a little reversal. Reversaling back. Just reversal city right now. Oh, just absolutely one hit combos one after the other. What will I do if he doesn't come back? Um... I don't know. Live, li continue living my life. Uh, he's doing the same thing every day. Stick to my routines, but always a part of me will be missing and it will feel a bit empty. But um, you know, you gotta keep going. And that looks trying to bring it back with a tech chase. Goes for a down smash and Kai crouching. Very shrewd choice of direction to hold. Big stage control for Kaiser and uh, big auto cancel back air. Oh, Kai doesn't have a Nez and is punished for it. That's uh, that's that's the kind of uh, miss that you don't have when you can spend four hundred dollars on a controller. Sora actually dual wielding Nezes these days. He's got like a backup Nez. It's insane. Kicks. And we've got a tie game. Alright. So Davin's counter pick. And uh, for some We got Muscat, the coward. Um didn't, didn't show up for the tournament, but he's here to watch hey, everyone I else play. I had real life stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. I know. I, I yeah. No, you don't you don't you don't feel it? <laughs> I don't really yeah, whatever. Real life. Look, what is real at the end of the day? You know what I mean? I've, I've been hearing Jack was talking about your philosophical conversation with Cookbook. Yeah, what, is it, what does it all mean? What, what, yeah, what? Cookbook seems to think that certain matches matter and others don't. Man. The majors matter and ban wobbling are locals or something. Yeah. That seems, that seems pretty whack, to be honest. Like... That does seem whack. It seems very like, whack I feel, to me. I feel like you just either have a, like, ban on it all, or just... You ban or you don't. I agree with half of what you just said. Okay, well... <laughs> that, that's... And we got game five. And Kai with an early lead. Bad recovery, but Davin does not punish it. And he's still making it back. You gotta close those age guards out, but Davin doesn't take too much damage for those mistakes. 34%, not bad, not great either. Sorry, did you have something to say, Muscat? No, I'm, I'm, I'll let you do the um, play by play. It's not play by play, bro. I'm describing the, the meta game of it, you know, the outside meta of the game game. game. Look, what I'm it all sure means for both players. Two people without any, without any um, picture, without any have sound, will appreciate it. Yeah, they will. And you know, the thing about, I was thinking about Davin and how he has a lot of pride tied up in this game, you know? He, sure he, he seems like a really humble kind of guy, but he's always, he's always jonning a little bit. He's always got some kind of, you know, I play Dota now, I'm, you know, a, a, a facade of uh, ironic detachment. He doesn't want you to get to see the real Davin, you know? And I think Kai, if he wins, he might actually put a dent in the real, real uh, Davin, you know? There's, there's so much ego wrapped up in these tournaments. They're, we're playing for PR spots that might be here in a few months' time. Who knows? Yeah. The thing about Kai, though, is you always see the real Kai, for better or for worse. You see the real thing, you know? He wears his heart on his sleeve. You have to appreciate that. you got to respect that. Mm. <laughs> Hello, XV. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Ho hopefully you're enjoying this wonderful stream. Kai might be the realest guy in Australian Smash. I'm trying to think of a realer guy and I literally cannot. Maybe, like, arguably me, but apart from that, I just really can't see anyone who I think is realer than, uh, than Kai. You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. 
you also a man who wears your heart on your sleeve. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. I wear it in my, in my rib cage. Oh, yeah. Look, everywhere. My heart cannot be stopped. And here we are, last stop. And speaking of hearts, both players' hearts oh, are going to be beating right now in this last stop battle. And Kai throws Davin off stage. Davin with a bad double jump, but uh, Kai a little bit tentative with the edge guard. Oh, he's got the grab. This is big market. Oh, tries to cover options. Only covers one option, though. Who's going to win? The Falco down air or the Sheik up air? Oh, oh, he's no jump. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to shield drop laser. He should have done a PC drop. I mean, uh, what's it called? You know, Isaiah drop. That's the one. Oh, that's he's it. dead. Isn't and Davin, the clutchest player in Australia. Maybe. He is. Right Look, now he is. You know, you can say part of it's Sheik, part of it's just himself. No, I, I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't? No. No? Okay. No, I would say it's just... Uh, just him? Skill. Just skill. All right, well. And Kai, with a smile on his face. With a heart in his sleeve and a smile on his face and a dream in his in the glimmer in his eye, you might say. You got a smile or you going to cry? <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you got to... Yep. You got you to gotta put a smile on your dial. Yes. Otherwise, you just might... Uh, become depressed. We wouldn't want that. You would not want that. I'm going to play Jack and Good see luck. if I can make Jack become depressed. Look, probably. Oh, joined. On the commentary is my co-commentator, Liam. God bless. But first, just a word from, quick word from our sponsors. Uh, Deep Spring. Deep Spring? Yeah. Uh, maybe in 2016. Like they're making a comeback. Making a comeback? Are you? Are you a? Look, maybe. I've been in talks. Okay, in talks. Well. They've been discussing, you know, they've been thinking, we want to get a really valuable melee player. Oh, then they're just going into it. All right. Um, yeah. Makes sense, I guess. All right. Half time when Jack does hand warmers, he just switches his shoulder. And okay. All right. So obviously, Nick, the favorite in this situation. But, you know, it's a rough matchup and. Sometimes that the mask not playing quite right. Hey, well, she it's, gets a, it's a rough matchup in you for know, Sheik is what I was going to say. For Okay, that's good. That's good, you know. <laughs> you know. Really, he just got everything against him. Yeah. The matchup, the player. The skill yeah. You know, even the oh, colors. That was cool. That was really Even cool. the colors. Nick's black blending in with the stage, whereas uh, Flores standing out a bit. Ty actually did that in PM. He would yeah. pick when he picked down Falco. He would pick black Falco, and like pick this battlefield skin. There's like the Brawl Battlefield for PM, but there's also the um, like melee-ish version. So she gets a grab there. Uh, Master will probably die, but Mark, yeah. uh, Nick not letting it happen. Nice. Very beautiful, beautifully spaced moves. Yeah, he's just not letting it. Oh, oh, there you go. Low tier Marth, it happens sometimes. It's an L cancel. That's, uh, you know. That cost him. Oh, that caught a jump. How's he getting down? He's not. He's dead. He's dead. Can you believe it? I know. Can you believe he's not alive? I can't. Can you? Okay. Hold Closes him. it out. It's Hold only. <laughs> <laughs> Look. All right. Oh, he got the fair. He could have grabbed, but yeah. He went for down tilt. I think he also like intelligently placed, intelligently placed needles, a trap, increasing the recovery of the move. Just back airs out to the corner. Trading hits. Trading hits, I think, is good for Sheik normally, but uh, Marth's up, so it's not good. Oh, that! He gets a kill! Yeah, I don't think Marth landed. No, he did not. Yeah, it's, well, it's yeah. <laughs> just unfortunate. Hit a single needle. That up B, he basically had to do that, because otherwise Sheik was going to the ledge, but in the same case, in the same. You know, he was still checkmate though, yeah. unfortunately. There was no real options that Mark could do at that point. Though he's still got uh, some small percent as a consolation. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. She gets you hate to see that happen. Oh, no jump. No jump is going to be hard. Yeah, yeah there you go. Nice. Good it's, hard. it's a hard knock life for Sheik when she's no up jump. there. No jump. High percent. Oh, Jack going. This is decent opportunity. Oh no. Man, that's that's 60% of that. I mean, 
God. You know, you can't let it get to you. You can't. Okay. Sometimes you get knocked in the air by Marth and you get juggled and you're like, well, time to, uh, time to die. I could even have a force mush thing with that Dio. Yeah, I believe so. Mm. All right. I concur. Indeed. Indeed. We'll, see how, we'll right. see how he adjusts for next game. This is, uh, actually, we should probably say this is winners. <laughs> Point out, this is winners semis. Oh my god. I know. Just can Terry slide more off Oh, he's gone Fox. I guess he doesn't want to play the matchup on, on Dreamland, or. It's probably a decent idea. I think he's just. You want to know what I think? He's just feeling it. I don't know what I think. feeling the money. It's already in his pocket. No. I don't I don't claim to have complete read on Nick, but I think he's going Fox here to warm it up a I little bit. So I think he wants to use it against Davin. What? They don't they don't call you the Nick reader for nothing. Look, if there's one thing that my competitive career has shown is that I have the reads on Yeah, you have the reads on Nick. Reads you on just me. don't have the I can't execute the reads, but I have yeah. them. But maybe with the power of Deep Spring to clear your mind? Look. Let's bring this to rest. Deep Spring was one of my worst years. 2016 <laughs> was not a good year. In looks, in play, everything. Look, Once I switched look, to water, look, it was... I think, I think the, the sponsorship deal's pretty clearly out the window <laughs> at this look. point. I was looking, I was, you know, in talks, but... I shouldn't need to tell, to tell this to all you viewers at home, but drink water. Yeah, don't ever drink Deep Spring, it don't sucks. <laughs> Brought to you by our new sponsor, H2O. You know, nothing but the greatest. Get so while we were rambling on, <laughs> Nick just stole another stock. Unbelievable. He's feeling good. He's feeling, you know what? Oh this is good enough God. to take is him this, Is this how it's going to end? You don't, you oh, don't want to see he, it. That's oh, he, huge damage. Struggling to stay on the stage. Oh, that's oh. a beautiful out of shield punish. I love Wei Wei Shan and Shield, it's... That's pretty crisp. It really is. Um, Mission complete. Yeah. Now, how do you think he's going to adjust for next game? He's going to pick Puff. Oh yeah. No. He's, he's going to Damn. Looks like they. Uh, looks like they rightfully don't call you the Flow Rat Reader. Well, not Jack. I mean, there was, there was oh, a Jack. chance. Oh, there was, right. There's a chance Nick okay. would just go. Um, I don't know. Maybe your, your your settings are a little off. It seems. Let's hope that doesn't affect you in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck finals. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? This is the He's got to go puff. This is the tournament that I'm like, you know what, Nick? <laughs> it's time to finally put these reads to good use. Yep. I knew you were going to do that. That's a money match for the, um, what, 11 entrant, what? <laughs> the $33? Oh, $33 money match. That's what the grand finals is going to be. Stick around. All right. Well, he's not currently oh. getting beaten up, but it's not looking too good. Oh no, no arms attack from Jack. Oh, Jack doesn't, Jack, like, Jack doesn't arms attack that back air. Davin will, that's a key difference. Between Speaking of what two. Davin would do, he did a dash attack there, and he was far away, and he got the weak hit. I was talking to Davin the other day, and he was telling me how you always use, use boost grab. grab in that yes. situation, because then you don't get the weak hit, you get a strong grab follow-up. Another so, differential between both Jack and Davin is that yeah. uh, Jack gets a lot of his punishes off dash attack or just knockdowns in general, whereas Davin will get his punishes more off grab. Yeah. Um, Davin's willing to go for the reaction check chases and really push himself to his limits. Against Jack, he can pretty freely uh, run up shield because the risk reward is quite a bit in your favor. Yeah. He tends to prefer the moves rather than the grabs. Yeah. Like right there. Also, crouch cancel. Okay. Oh, just a cheeky oh, burn. No. Hitting the chill and dude killer. Did you, did you, can, you can tell me, did you have the read Nick was going to do that Firefox? No. no? I didn't. If I didn't. And if you, I didn't, if then I you can be damn sure Jack did. Exactly. You know. Yeah, it's looking at a repeat of game two, just a little bit slower process though. It's a bit less, you know, throwaway stocks. Getting some yeah. shine spikes in the cheek at like 10. Jack, I, he's just not playing to the level that Nick is right now. He's kind of, um, 
kind of looking like a 20XXE for you, sort of. You know, like when you know when you just kind of beat it around, you do. In the case, that, he yeah. does the good options. Well, no, I just mean like he hasn't. Jack hasn't really gotten a chance to actually do anything with this stock. He's just kind of been hit, been comboed for a bit. Oh. Then it like resets to neutral for a bit, and then just gets comboed again. Yeah, those four tilts. I. They're definitely strong against players that are just shaky and on their last legs like that. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm guessing we have a losers quarters match up next. Most likely I guess we, who, who, going who, who to be. Better luck next time, man. Yes. Better luck next time. What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you'd go rock climbing or something. Sounds sounds about right. Can you? I, you can. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, I see how it is. You don't want to fight. You don't want to fight for the honor of commentating with me. Come on. Damn. All right. What do we got? Kai, Catherine, and we've got Mr. Sephiroth Nick. As some may, some may, you know, fondly remember you as. I'm sure you've got fans from back back in the day. All of my fans are from back in the day. Yeah, not not a single <laughs> new one. <laughs> no. Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry, we we're here, to, we're here to change that today. We're here to, you know, you can strut your stuff. Yeah, any sponsors? I hear Fury is looking for a new member for Melee. So, oh, man. Wait, what? Oh, okay. As a, as a. Group yeah. called Fury. Yeah. Let's get out of the, out of the business. Oh, that's convenient. So we got Kai. Yeah. A highly technical player. Yep. Very platform based. Very practiced. A bit unusual in style. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he makes Falco look unique, his own. You know. Right. Catherine. On the uh, other hand. On the other the, hand. The Decar of South Australia. No tech skill needed. Yeah. All, board, all brain. All brain, no brawn. It is no loser's brawn. quarters, right? This is in many ways a classic battle of brains versus brawn. David versus Goliath. Catherine the brains, Kai the brawn. But who's David? Catherine. Okay. You know, because Goliath Ka is big. And yeah. Brawn. Kai is just a hulking beast of a man. David, Catherine, the Dave, in the in the biblical story of David and Goliath, need I remind you, uh, God fearing viewers. Spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. Just spoilers. Uh, <laughs> David was able to defeat Goliath. Yep. Uh, intelligent use of the environment. I'm pretty sure it was the slingshot, wasn't it? Yeah, but he picked up a rock from the ground. Right. It takes a big brain to do that. Yeah. For sure. Insane. I mean, look at Catherine right now. She's picking up rocks from the ground and. You don't actually know how much I thought about this metaphor before I brought it to. I think yeah, I'm sad to see it. About commentating is a lot of people just kind of show up to the mic and just say whatever's on their mind. Yeah, I, I would never do that. I research what I'm going to say before I come to the event. So that I don't look like a fucking idiot. It's yeah. <laughs> good, good for you. <laughs> Alright. I'll let that be a lesson to all of you aspiring competitors out there. You don't get to where I am by just fucking freestyling. You, you right? definitely don't. <laughs> you don't get to the just the random commentary to locals. <laughs> by just showing up and say and to an empty desk and say, oh, can I do it? Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean in your case it wasn't empty, you had competition. No, I had, to, I had to fight off tooth and nail uh, other commentators. Yeah. Would-be yeah. commentators. Muska, he, he really didn't want to let go. He was he was looking to stay on. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why I had to, work. had to deal with it. I had to take care of business. That's yeah. why I'm here today. I, I even showed him my resume a little bit. You know, I said, Muscat, here are the events that I've commentated. Yeah. What have you done here lately? Are the, here are the favorable reviews I've had from Twitch chat. And yeah. honestly, look at all, look at all these Pog them. champs. You're boring them. Look Muscat. at the Pog champs. They're flowing in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank, thank you in chat for all the pop champs. Yeah, look, there, there you go. Wow. And Kai, cutting a hand warmer short by SD. This is but it was a 1 minute 33 hand warmer. 1 minute yeah. 32. So you best, so if you see any, any drops, I, I mean, I don't even have to finish that sentence. Right. No, don't finish that sentence. If you see any drops. Uh, that wasn't a drop, that was intentional. And Kai with a shield drop shine. Risky business against Peach landing with a float cancel area. He might just get blended, but Kai, knowing how many frames he had to act, and shield drop shine, if you don't know, 
is a frame two option. Damn, if executed correctly. Oh, yeah? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Shine, frame one. Frame two, invincible option. Insane. How is this character nice. not the best in the game? But the frame one isn't invincible, is it? No, frame two, invincible. But frame one isn't. So there's, he's no, that's vulnerable. Why yeah, that's why I'm saying frame two is invincible, bro. Right. But I'm just saying. That's frame two. <laughs> but frame one isn't. Yeah, well, so, so it's a bit it relies risky. on the down smash hitting a, on a specific one frame. Right. Yeah. Shine, probably the best damn move in the game. It's pretty good, but you can only do it when you're on the platform. And tap with a great, clean edge guard. Kai didn't have that many options. Is that a stitch? Yes, it is. Uh oh. I'm surprised you didn't pick up on oh, that. Oh, the rain. As a, a seasoned commentator. I did pick up on it. I was just waiting for you to say something. Catherine going balls to the wall with this stitch right off. I mean, and Kai with a I, did, I didn't want to say anything, but this was a provisional thing. What? Your, uh, your being on here. I mean, you do have a, a resume of sorts, but... We're still, we're still working it out. Moving seeing on if we want to keep game. you. Uh, we're in losers' quarters, by the way, so don't fuck around. Yeah. And don't fuck around like that. You're gonna get even, slapped. Don't fuck around in the ledge, or you just eat the crown. All right. Let there be a lesson to all of you. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about Kai. He's a leader. He's always demonstrating with his own. With himself. Have you seen the Hungry Box documentary, Lemons? It's there'll never ever be another player like Hungry Box. I saw five for five first five seconds of it. Have you seen there'll ever, never ever be another commentator like SA Nick? Uh I hear they're making that one soon. They but are. That's why you haven't seen it. Yeah. It's still in production. Yeah. They saw how much of a success the hundred Hungry Box one was, and then they were like, what if the this? documentary was about someone with actual charisma?" You know? mm. I was wondering why there was such a strong camera presence today. Yeah. More than usual. No, they're at my uh, my goons are filming right now. Yeah. I mean, Emp Lemons is goons. Goons. <laughs> the guy who made the documentary. Oh yeah, that's true. Do you know what documentary I did enjoy? It was Hot Ones featuring Muta Gang. Oh yeah, Hot Hot uh, Ones. Great documentary. Hot Ones. Hot Ones for those you know the if he, the spelling. It's no, it's a bit of a pun. Yeah. I mean, you got to respect a good pun at the end of the day. That's what that's one thing puns deserve is respect. I mean. It's like the tried and true of humor. Like something that never get old. Yeah. Like um, like Louis C.K. Speaking of or, uh, <laughs> speaking of <laughs> never getting old, I don't know if Captain Stuck is gonna last much longer. See how what she can do to make it to make it to her adult years. Yeah, Catherine. Catherine's Peach looking like a boomer right now. Wait. Care, care to elaborate? <laughs> it's looking old. It's looking frazzled. It's looking like. It's looking like it's not long for this world. It's looking like it's trying to. Grab as much genera generational wealth as it can, and then uh, and take it out into the afterlife. <laughs> Damn. Sorry to get political for those in the chat who are boomers. Um, yeah, if you're a boomer, get out. Uh, wow. If you're a boomer, uh, press uh, press uh, press one four. in the chat. Press four in chat if you're a boomer. Press, press one four. if you're a, a zoomer. Press okay. two if you're a, a bloomer. And press three if you're a doomer. Damn, you really uh, you've been really researching this. This, no, this is what that research you're talking about for commentary, right? Yeah, I put it together in a spreadsheet. <laughs> One, <laughs> Zuma, two, Bloomer, three, Doomer. I'm a four. Bloomer until the day I die, which, you know. Well, you didn't used, to, you didn't always used to be a no, Bloomer. Was, what happened? I was a Zuma. Then I, was, I went through a brief period of being a Doomer. You did seem yeah, that now way. Now I'm a Bloomer. What's prompted this so, change? And Lord help me if I ever become a, a Bloomer. <laughs> Some would say the march of time is inevitable, and that one day we must all become boomers. You know what I say? Either you die a zoomer, or you live long enough to see yourself become a boomer. A boomer. That, that <laughs> is what you say. I've heard you say that many times. And that's why I, I try to live my life on the edge, to maximize my chances of... Uh, Ledge intangibility? You know, it's not, the, it's not the life, it's not the years in your life that matters. It's the life in your years. Oh yeah, it's the number of pog champs you get. Exactly. It's the not... How extreme your years are, basically, is, is really the measure of a man. Yeah. On my gravestone, I don't want it to say live to 103. I want it to say live okay. on the edge. I just <laughs> imagine, like, your gravestone, and then it just had, like, a pog champ on it. Yeah, exactly. Not a, not a pog champ. Maybe, like, a, maybe like a picture of, like, a snowboard and, uh, like, a skydiving man. Maybe Making like, the pog I face. When I, when I die, I don't want to have emotes that other people use. On my <laughs> Only emos you yourself have I used have exclusively. I don't have emos. Nobody else can face. have them. And Kai, trying to trying to make an emote of his own out of uh, Catherine's speech right now. Yeah, really oh. painting a picture on the canvas that is Catherine's speech. <laughs> exactly. And you know what they say about pictures? They paint a thousand words. Yeah. 
Catherine's going to need to speak pretty fast if she wants to keep up. I know. See, that's the thing about Kai. He's using pictures and Catherine is stuck using language. That's the level. You know, when people talk about the levels in Melee, that's really what they're... Uh, Kai out here speaking hieroglyphs. He, he really do, though. <laughs> he do be. <laughs> Oh. NGL, he do be looking kind of... I mean, <laughs> how much of a boomer do you have to be to speak in hieroglyphs? I That's think, pretty I think far. No, it's pretty like... Far the thing about hieroglyphs is they were made by futuristic aliens. So, so kind of the opposite of a boomer if you think about right. it. Right. It's so far back, it loops around. <laughs> exactly. Comes something new. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, and Pat. What's an interesting shield pressure? Yeah. Space shield pressure. This is like Mango. Not trying to be airtight on shield. Just looking to be fresh. I'm trying to bait out options. Yeah. And let me tell you, just because it's airtight doesn't mean it's fresh. Like the plane that I nearly got on uh, in America, it was airtight, but it had a smell. That's why I didn't get on it. What was that smell? It was vapors. Vapors? Yeah. Vapor waves? Oh my, I seem to have come down oh, with the vapors. Man, how did I live? Let me say, I kind of lived that, and then he died. Yeah, well, come to his curse. Uh, well, I didn't have the chance to curse him. Catherine's too quick. Oh, she do be reading that roll, though. She do be. Oh, and, he, and she's saying, jump into me, bro. Do I it. I dare you. Do it. I literally fucking dare you. Do you it. You won't. You're oh, good SCI, DI. And with good reason, because down smash has a lot of priority. If you jump into it, you'll just get uh, crunched up. You get washed. You get dried. Priority is kind of a buzzword, TBH. It doesn't actually... There's no actual priority in this game. It's just yeah, inboxes and yeah, boxes. All right, uh, jab strong is moves against yeah. Moves. Uh, that's the only. Uh, that's the exposed, only exposed, thing exposed. on the ground specifically. <laughs> exposed. Two ground moves interacting exposed, have exposed, quote unquote priority. Exposed. That's the only thing. Uh, press one if Lemon just got exposed for not knowing game mechanics. But press two if he knew he was gonna bring that up afterwards. <laughs> oh, but and Nick just didn't give him a chance. Cass saying, "I know you're gonna di out." I'm Anyone who says one in the chat <laughs> may be banned. Uh, oh, and with a dot eye, Catherine really comes through with a clutch turn of when they're needed. Oh my, it just says. I dare you to stay in shield against this D smash. Oh. Alright. Oh, I just played Davin after this. That's a scary matchup. I'll just, yeah. I just, you know. You, beat, you just beat a chick though. Surely so it's, it's that easy. And my fox is, uh. Not good enough. Oh, oh, there you go. Bone crunchingly down smash there. Damn. How and then absolutely bruisingly dead. But Kai with a a, a cockroach-like survival. Yeah, he really, he really, you really do though. <laughs> he really do be oh, scuttling around. The eye trap. Not really though. Kai saying, oh. Kai saying, let me get back in that blood. Back in, I haven't had enough. Kai you know? saying the nutrients inside me have not been activated by this music bullet. Let me get back in. <laughs> Let me hold back in. Let me get down to a microscopic level with these nutrients. And just absolutely blend the life out of me. Yeah, let me just get to a zen like state. Let me just release my soul from my body with this blender. And with that, we're into game three. Yeah. Is, this, is it a best of five? You better done well believe it. Damn it. Well, maybe. Whether or not you believe it, it may or may not be. Crazy choice, Yoshi's. He's not afraid to scrap. He's saying, he's get, saying in my, get in my face. Look, put oh, out that blender. Yours. I'm going to get in. Oh. Put me back in the blender, baby. And Kai's saying, oh, no. I tried to recover, and then I died. Uh, it happens, though. You hate to see it, though, don't you? you I mean, hate it. I sometimes. Hate it. But some people love to see it. I some love to see it when I... Man, he didn't want to get in the blender that time. I love to see it when I'm Catherine, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. If you're for all the Catherine fans, they love to see it. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Hit. You love to see you it. You gotta hit those. You gotta absolutely hit those. You gotta <laughs> take those to the bank. That's money That's left on the money. table there from Catherine. I, I think uh yeah, she just left it over there. Kaya walked over and it's the Okay. It's looking nice. I think I'll uh this is a whole KFC club sandwich. I'll have a little scoop of that sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, little, uh, I don't know, Golden Gate time. We've got a Golden Gate time recently. Kai That's saying, still good. Uh, not recently, and probably won't for a long time. Why not? I just, I, I quit sugar, bro. Uh, it's poison. It's like uh, crack cocaine. It's, it's the, the, you know, but it's, it's the what sugar the government wants you to eat. I mean, yeah. 
I thought we wouldn't talk about that on today's episode. Oh my, and Catherine, not edgeguarding. Kai, the DI, DI, off the shy guys, he's making use of his environment. The and Goliath becomes wait the Wait a minute! <laughs> Look, put up, put up a rock Bit there. Bit of a roll reversal here. She's just gonna pull the rock out of the ground. Yeah. Oh. She better do it quick though. Absolutely shine. Dare I say it, Kai might be shining until Catherine starts crying. Oh, and what a boomer thing to say. Well, I was I was there in 2015. You may not have been alive. I was there. I remember I remember when people were saying that. I don't know. Do you remember who said it? It was like uh Come on, bro. this is this is melee 101. I don't think it is actually. It's I like I actually think it is. It's Oh, and time really making Yoshi's pay off, pay dividends. Yeah. All right, going up in the set. I almost want to say like I mean a lot of people said it is the thing it's hard to remember who was the first because it's just it just spread over like a wave you know I I know exactly who said it was and it West Bulls? it was West Bulls. there you go he said it who did he say it to this is a bonus point this is like one extra point who did he say it to yeah. can I get a hint it was at Apex 2015 in the Salty Suite was he playing at the time or no? Yeah, it was, it was the pre Salty Sweet uh, trash talk. You know when Scar oh. comes up to the guy with a mic? Okay. Was it Pax? Wrong. I have no idea. Because I don't remember. You know what? Him. Minus one point. I don't remember Minus, him playing. You lose point for that. So I just thought, who would, he, who would he play in a Salty Sweet? You know, you don't, not only do you not get a bonus point, you don't get any points at all. Alright. Well, put, take your guesses in the chat. Oh, oh there Brad, you go. Brad. Absolutely there you go. farming all of Lemons. So I don't even remember that guy. Cold ball. I remember him now, but that, that his name's come up. Oh, I think about Cobol. He's, he's uh, always sneaks under the radar. Definitely does. But it, he is in his own right a great player. Wait, who won in that uh, set? Probably West Balls. Probably, but you don't even remember. West Balls. West Balls won. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Cobol, one of the most beautiful uh, play styles, people, personalities. Probably I haven't met the guy. Yeah, you have. Nice. You didn't. You didn't take the chance when you were in America. I, you I, only had I, one I shot. I messaged him. I said, "Cobol, can I come to your house? I'm in America. I'm in NorCal right now." Yeah. He said, he, "He left me on red, basically." You hate to see it. Just like you hate to see Kai's SD. You know what? I'm gonna level with you, Lemon. I was not looking at the screen, so I in fact didn't see it. Well, that's good. You you had the read. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Pretty crystal. You feel like a, a million, a million buckaroos. I felt like something on screen was going to happen that I would hate to see. And the thing about melee is, I'm only watching the things that I want to see. I don't want to see the things I hate to see. Otherwise, why am I spending my leisure time? You know? Exactly. Just anytime, anytime you see anything you don't like, just look away. Yeah. I emit like a high-pitched squealing noise, and then I close my eyes. When I see something I hate. <laughs> That's like serving pretty well thus far. That's kind of like a... It's a bit of a tell though, don't you think? You don't think you'd be giving away... Look, I just have a very primal response to things that I hate to see happen. I don't think I've ever... I don't oh, think what a double... What a DJ. Yeah, yeah, nice poke. Good poke. I don't think I've ever heard you do that though. Yeah, so, does I'm, that mean you've never seen anything you don't like? Not when you're around, Lemon. Oh. Only because I'm so prepared for like the things I'm going to hate that I just... I try not to, I try to avert my gaze at all times. Okay. Oh, and Kai, going for a shine, not for a down air. Interesting choice. Will it pay off, Cotton? I mean, I think you'll win regardless, but uh, the choice... Are you sure? Oh my, you know Are what? Are you sure though? <gasps> oh, oh my god, he knew. Absolutely. How do you know? That's what Melee's all about. It's about... It's about flubbing edge guards. You're right, I've never thought of that that way. If you want to play an honest game, play bloody... Uh, Rock, paper, I mean, I was going to say uh, politics. But... Yeah, play play small business ownership. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I'm going to try it down there. Not going to work. Slam it. Oh, you can't act out a shield there. you got to... But what if you can, though? you got to, like, wave dash back or something. I, you you got to do something else. you got to do... He's got to do something. He? <laughs> I mean, Kai's already won the set. I don't think he needs to do anything. I think the set's over. Brad, in the chat, trying to demonstrate that he's in on the joke, but he is not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, my dad is a small business owner, and his oh. uh, his vineyard was ravaged by fire. So you might want to watch what you say. Otherwise, he'll he'll be around the Are house you shortly. A guy who was ravaged by fire, dishonest. Um, yeah, cool, buddy. I have my lawyers People contacted in glass immediately. People houses shouldn't throw stones, Brad. All right. Uh, it must be nice else. sitting in your ivory tower, just taking shots at everyone. All right, so maybe I'll just wear both mics. Double micing. All right, Chad, it's just me and you. Me, you, me, and Dupree in the, in the, in the commentary setup. And we got Davox. No, we don't. We got Lemons versus Florets. One of Florets' best matchups, I would say. What, against Marth? Yeah, I think he's a Marth Slayer. There we go. There we go. Hello, XP. We're doing well. I'm doing well. I don't want to speak to Kai. Yeah, I'm doing well as well, actually. Um, I'm keen for this year, actually. New decade, new Kaiser. No, dead ass, like, <laughs> I don't know, 2020 just feels nice. It does. Like, 2020, it's nice, know. you know. It's like 2020 vision. Yeah. It's like yeah. hindsight's 20, you know? Not all, not, not all 2020 visions are good things. No, sometimes you see in, in, incredible clarity, like, uh, like an atrocity being committed. Yeah, like, and if I could, if I could stop JT from releasing the 2020 experience, I probably would. When, when was that album? That was like 2013. Yeah. That some had like some shit like that. There, right? It's got like two, <laughs> maybe three. It has the I'll Be Your Mirror, doesn't it? It's like you're a mirror. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> I don't let myself That's looking back at me. I like that one, actually. <laughs> Kai, I'm tempted to play Apex again. Yeah, legit. I, I actually like this patch. Uh, season 4 is pretty dope. Um, new new characters like mid tier. He's right. But, um,. I don't know. Lots of people are playing still, so like, it's that's always nice. I like playing FPSs where, where people are playing. Oh yeah. Um, so flowy and lemons. Oh fox. Wait, lemons fox? Oh. Okay. Florets showed that he struggled with his matchup a bit earlier. I will say it. Oh, short hop up there. Good. So that works if the sheik doesn't do anything. Which sometimes she won't do anything. They'll, they'll try to DI instead of jumping out. Oh, I love Lemon's these pussies right now. They're saying, come at me, bro. Make me act. I like the way Lemon's plays Fox. Like, it harkens back to when I first played him. Like, I don't know, all those street gigs ago. And like, it was cool that he could still do all the tech. I remember like watching him do like show up double laser, and I'm like, oh shit, like he can play games, right? I'm oh, like, yeah. I can't do that shit. I still can't do that shit. But like, he doesn't. He doesn't overcomplicate it. I feel. I think Lemons doesn't have the, the killer instinct. I don't know what it is about him. He just have the will to win. Yeah, he kind of just like coasts through it. Oh, that was a roll, or at least a get up attack. Yeah, I actually expected. Hey, nice. Hard to get the double hit on the up air at like 140, so... Yo, did everyone like SDI shit in America? Question. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Everyone had better DI in general. Yeah, so. okay. I feel like we suck at DI in Australia. Do you know what my favorite thing about America was? Playing top players, and you'd just get washed, but then you'd take one game, and they'd be so mad. <laughs> It's like, well, wow, that fu that tipper hits? That's fucking sick, man. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you really earned that one, man. <laughs> Especially Fiction. Fiction's the king of that. Oh, you play him a bunch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, like, he was beating me, like, very consistently. I would take a game, and he'd be like, wow, I can't believe that hits. You just fucking miss everything, that whole stock, and that hits. It's cool. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> He doesn't. He never really struck me as someone salty, but I guess someone who started with brawl might be. Or just like, well, I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like he goes through an existential crisis every interaction. I love fiction. I was cheering for fiction probably the loudest of anyone. I love watching him play here. It's like, I think it's crap that he was not top ten, but like, eh, whatever. It's, you, your your meom number doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Don't let your meom number define you. 
And, all right, one piece of advice for Lemons is, if you're going to only cover one option, make sure you cover it. Oh, yeah. So Lemons doing, like, Ooh. shit edge guards that don't cover anything, and then he's, like, not even doing the thing that he's trying to cover. Ah, uh, yeah. He's like, what, but what if I did? Yeah. <laughs> you you would have been... I bet you look real silly if I did. <laughs> well, it, it still would have been wrong. He made the wrong read regardless, but, Ooh. like... Lem is deciding to actually push some buttons. He just needs to out cancel his drills. Jack is uh, susceptible to being drill grabbed, I will say. Yeah, actually, because I know from what he's told me, he's just oh. like, <laughs> we got a match! Insane. Brave. Uh, courageous. Intelligent. Composed. Integrous. Inte is, that, that's, that's, is that the real usage of that word? Integrous. Is that... That's that up smash was filled with integrity. I like integrous. I hope that's real. I hope it's a real road too. <laughs> <laughs> integrous. I'm not sure if it is. No. I I'm mean, I don't know what else would, would be the word then. Jack getting up to close the door a bit, even though it doesn't close. Integritus. I don't know. Uh, chat, please Google Maybe it integrous. is integritus. I'm not sure. Anyway. This might be Ooh, one of those FD. times where we're like pioneering a new word. Yeah, this, words don't exist. Do you know Eskimos have like a billion words for snow? Oh, that's Just sick. That's sick. <laughs> Just saying, bro. Oh, huge. Absolutely <laughs> shine. <laughs> Lemons on zero. Lemons, I will I say... I never thought I'd see the day. I think the day he picked up Marth was a sad day for Melee. I agree, actually. I was like, why are you playing Marth? He's like, well, I don't play that much, so I may as well pick like one that's a bit easier to like, uh, like the input yeah, output's a bit better. Grab. Like, look at him. He's good. That drill grab was so late, but Flowey just sat shield after the drill. Flowey, very accustomed to being wave shine combo, not so much drill grab. Yes, Brad. Integris is a real word. Real word. Swag. Having or characterized by Integris. It's not every day that you learn a new word. I'm happy. Yes. Twitch can be educational, guys. This is like how I used to feel when I would get to play against like a new good player, like a new playstyle that I hadn't played against, and I would just learn so much. Ah, oh, right. But those moments are few and far between. You get them sometimes in America. You get a like, huge rush. But uh, just learning something new, you know? It's, it's what it is to be human. New experiences. Oh, oh. Just walks up, knows he has time, doesn't want to risk going for a JC, because uh, it's very demanding on the hands. Like, he could have just walked up and shined as well, and like wave shine up smash. For the confirm? But if you got it, go for it. Oh. Lemons is playing the long game. He's saying, I want to press as few buttons as possible because <laughs> my hand health is important. <laughs> oh, <so laughs> That's fun. just like three different crouch cancels there. Which Lemons would like down kill or something? Ooh. I don't know how. Sure how I actually have no idea how Lemons is so controlled with his like forward movement. Like, he, he moves forward and he just stops and waits for Jack to, like, do something because it's like, oh shit, a fox is coming at me. Like, it's like the opposite of how he plays Moth. Because with Moth, he's characterized by doing shit at approaching forward as. What's with that? I think I think with Fox, he has a like, actual approach option that is like, you can just jump forward with a move. Yeah, true. Oh my god. Yo, Lemons is playing pretty nice. I think because nice. he, like, learned the game with Fox, he wanted to, like, shoehorn that, like, that option into Moth, and it just doesn't really exist for me. Nah. Spaces are really the only characters that have safe enough moves that like you can go in aggressively with. I mean, you can go in, like, you can definitely aggress with any character, but, oh, yeah. like, you can't just bomb aerials forwards with other characters. Which is what Lemon does. That's what Lemon does. an aerial. It's looking nice for him. Yeah. Flowerats isn't really crouch cancelling much. He's trying to meet Lemons in the air a lot. And like he's not like Davin who's just gonna like relentlessly down throw you. Yeah. Oh, you love seeing those backwards hops from Flowey. That means he's he's starting to feel himself. Yeah, exactly. Trying to He knows that Lemons is like basically just committing. He's not giving Flowey really any reason to approach apart from being in the lead. Like he's not shooting lasers or anything. So And he's also not like threatening Flowey to the point where he like feels like he needs to commit to things forward. Dude, Lemons is pummeling too. He wants it. Oh no! That was the worst DI possible! I can't believe that's how that game ends. I can. I feel like Lemons is just destined to lose. What? He's just destined to lose. It's in his blood. He's not, he's not a melee player. He's not a winner. Lemons, if you're hearing this, uh, something to work on. <laughs> just fix that core personality trait that you have. You have to become a per You have to habitualize being 
a winner. Have you ever read The Secret? I haven't, but I've heard it's good. And, What's um, what? You know that what? book that was like a thing ages ago? About the how secret. you visualize shit? No, it's like I a self help it. book. Like Oprah loved it. Back in like 15 years ago. Okay. I right. <laughs> really, secret. really left field reference, I would say. Oh. You know, it's like if you believe, if you like visualize a thing, it'll like happen. Yeah. I know, like, in psychology, like, that is, it's it does have, like, a base, right? But, like, I think the idea is that if you're a good enough, like, if, you, if you're, like, good enough at a skill or whatever, right, you should be able to at least, like, visualize how to, like, uh, get what you want out of it. Like, what, what series of things leads to you getting what you want out of it, you know? Yep. And you have to be able to visualize that, not so much, like, the actual win. Not, it's not just the windscreen that you visualize. Yeah, it's true. I don't think I've ever, like, visualized holding a trophy. Yeah, right. Like, that that probably doesn't help you. If you see the trophy, you're, like, thinking about something else. Yeah. Oh, bad DI. On that dash attack. He was at, like, 92. Should have sent him, like, really far, but he just held in. I, uh, I was, like, watching random YouTube videos, which is a pastime of mine. Same, same. <laughs> and, um, yeah. One of them had like, it was like an Arnold Schwarzenegger interview or like bit. Wait, what was it? Is it and uh, was what's like, in my fridge? No, oh, it was okay. just like some random, I don't know. I don't remember when it was. It might have been like months ago. Right. But I just remember the quote that stuck with me was like, what you were thinking is what you were becoming. And, oh. like, and right now, it like in, in the, the stage that I'm at in my melee career, and when I look at people like Sock My Son, for instance, who like are at that, that uh, stage in their career where they're constantly thinking about melee. I think that like that is the, the number one factor in getting better at melee. It's just like, always have it on your mind. You just gotta yeah, love it enough yeah. so that it's always on your mind. Well, I remember like, like there's all those um, like bits from Mango about it, right? Like, where he's like, yeah, I was just like thinking about melee all day, all night, like at school, yeah. you know. Exactly. And like if you, if you are thinking about it and if you play it enough, you do learn a lot just from like theory crafting. Oh! Oh, dude! Yeah, I remember I used to go to sleep and I would like just have going through my head just like uh, melee situations. Like yeah. literally, it would just like auto like it would like dream. But, like, yeah, yeah. Would, like, oh man, so he's clutching. Oh, I've never seen a crisper ledge dash than that from Lemons. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh. Oh! Yeah. Nah. So, uh, Such a smart. Uh, Series of events, and that's that. Am I playing now? I think I'm playing. Uh, two laser quarters done. Yeah, so winners semis is up. All right, laters. Sorry, no, uh, winners finals Alligators. is up. All right, good luck, man. Uh, Devin, man, you up? Yeah. Yeah, winners finals, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. All right, hi. Actually, on that thought, for Nick when he watches this back as well, I remember like once upon a time, especially in high school, right? Um, I was like, uh, whoops. So yeah, especially like in high school, um, back when I was competing in Team Fortress 2, legit, I would wake up, stay in bed, and like think about only TF2. Like for an hour before I would like get on with my day, and that wasn't because like I wanted to think about TF2. It was just what was going on in my head, and also because like you know I, I watched hella like TF2 videos and like um, like how to play TF2 videos as well. So I had, like imagined some of those and like what happens in matches, that kind of stuff. Probably paid off for me in the end. That and like my ridiculous grind to the pickup game but um I mean I ended up top three of the country so like maybe it was it was something in the end Ready? top three team there is a difference between top three in the country and top three team in the country the only two teams that were better than us on that tournament were the top two teams in the country it was and and they were like teams that had literally had the same roster for over like four years. It was A Clan, which then became Team Immunity, and it was Rewound at the time. Those those were the top two teams when I was top three. 
Anyway, enough about that. We got a set, and this is going to be a big set. We've got USA Nick, the new and improved. Yeah, Becca came up with that. <laughs> Becca came up with it. It's so good. Um, so we got, yeah, new and improved USA Nick on the sticks right now. And we're already in it. I actually don't know who's taking this, but I feel like Nick's pretty high. So this is his winner's final, so this is for top three. And already Davos looking strong. He's a strong boy. Might need to make this slightly brighter. Now you can see the game. Oh! Alright, we're even. We're even. They both, they both just like anti clutch. Devin's like really good at the movement side of Cheek. And like, I suck at that shit. So. I have like mad respect for the, for the death. Ooh. I just some DIing out too at the very end. That was nice. Pretty nice. This is actually the hypest game of the fucking tournament, and like we're we're stuck in this room. Cause like either of these people going to lose this finals is kind of screwed. Like when you think about it. Ooh, that needle. That was so meaty. And donk, le donk. Alright, Nick's not starting to run away with this. He's definitely hitting him with the Mothman. Oh, that's got some not too bad DI there, but he didn't get a slide off. Oh, he was looking for a Tomahawk, like a uh, full hop there. Man, I, I feel like Australia really gotta just hit that A button on the ledge. We need to get on that get up attack. Because some characters, it's like longer animation than the roll-up, so it occupies the ledge for longer. Oh, just such good patience from Nick. Hey, That sucks. That sucks. That actually sucks. Oh, Fox. Because it's Dreamland. All right. Wait, 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 no mercy. There's absolutely no mercy from Nicholas. Okay, Nick's Fox gotta be nice. I've played many a tournament set against Nick's Fox. He's whooped me a lot of times with it. Up smash. Huge. I feel like that was as good as the uh, Davin could have asked for. Because, like, he went to the corner, but he still got the... Top KO. Oh my god! He's racking it up! Yeah, alright. So that time, Devin's gonna live. He just hasn't managed to like come to the ground and finally gets a tech chase going. This is where Devin thrives, and he was hoping to cash out early there. But maybe Nick was too low of a percent for him to like wanna like tech in that spot. Oh, Nick's pressure! He, he didn't even like go for another aerial after all that. He kind of waited for Davin to jump out of the shield. Well, that might be it. Oh, no way. I don't know what Davin's could have done there. Maybe he had some susty eye. Maybe he was expecting a back air. Oh, you can't do those lasers that close. Oh, I just missed. Gnarly. I think about how much I hate Fox so often. <laughs> so like, I kind of want Davox to win because of that. But I'm really, I'm really happy to see Nick again here. So my heart is, my heart is conflicted. What like, what's a stronger emotion? Hate or, lo or like, or love? I feel like you have to rationalize hate, but your mind doesn't rationalize love. Chad, what do you think? What's the percentage of emotions that these guys are feeling right now? 
Oh, no. I would be feeling 100% dejected if I was that bad. Mission complete. Yeah, Nick looking too strong. He's definitely that USA Nick right now. He's on the Fox. He's accepted 20XX. I actually am not sure. I'm okay. Oh, Davin missed the short hop fair there. He's kicking himself. He was literally kicking the stage. And damn, Nick's played a lot. Nick's played a lot of melee recently, so he's probably pretty warm. Uh, Davin actually had the read, but he just like was a slight amount too early. Wow, Nick's actually got some pretty good ideas on how to edge guard shake in that spot. Oh, that pressure was so good. Davin wanted to get off the platform, but the jabs catch him. I'm not sure owned or I'm playing trash or playing like trash is an emotion. I think they're like symptom. I think they're thoughts based on emotion. Oh, damn. Nick is just like actually moving no matter what is like kind of happening to him. Oh, that net was sick. All right, clean it up, Davin. That's it. Finally in the lead. Davin's starting to make some adaptations. Dreamland's working out, kinda. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no no. Oh la la. <laughs> we ain't Foster. I love Foster so much. Ooh. Oh no way! No way! He lingered for so long up there. Alright, let's go Davin. He's got the down throw, he hesitates. And he gets stuck in shield. Damn. Nick's smart. He went in with that aerial and then he just full hopped to the platform. Like he saw Davin was just like spamming attacks. For looking for the crouch cancel. Uh, side beat? Ooh. Alright, for those those Fox players out there, if you, if you want to steal the ledge back and you want to go for the sweet spot, doing an up is not that bad. But um, like especially if you're coming at it coming at the ledge from above, doing up is all right. But if you're coming at the ledge from below, you should do that um that side B because that snaps to the ledge so easy. All right, Davin's still in this. Mr. David Nangs. Oh, okay. it's needle. Oh, what an angle. ACT Davox. Oh, <laughs> Nick just waited for the roll there. Yikes, I'm not sure Davin knew that he had a jump. Didn't know it have a jump. This is close! Oh yes, Davin. Bring it to a game four, baby. Oh, the down smash is catching out. He was a little, I'm not sure. Like he kept it good. Oh, no way! All right, he's got a lot of damage now and he's very low percent too. So he only needs to like tap it in at this point and that is that. Go on to game three. Very, so yeah, you, SA Nick's now demoted back to SA Nick. He's playing Roth. So you know what's up. Moth Black back in business. Moth Black in business. Oh, nice cruise CC, but he misses the dash jump. Oh, he's cutting. Oh, slice? Oh, I'm never saying that again. Oh, that's the Nick classic, baby. Literally just waiting for you to get up attack by standing over the top of your corpse. And then, like, not corpse, but, like, your body. Um, and he, he literally, I'm pretty sure it's, like, reaction. Okay, Davox is actually keeping it very, very clean, and that is 
a three stock apiece. I'm liking it. Actually, pretty good gameplay in this match. Hmm. Hmm. Number five versus number three. Where else in the country can you get that? You don't get number one versus number two in Vic. Oh, Davin getting custom with the edge guard, and he's gonna take the lead. So, like, what? Is there any other, like. So, like, there's obviously Sora and Spud, right? And then Nick. Who's four? Is that Dave? Like, I, I reckon it would be Dave, right? So, you get two and four in Vig. But I feel like Sora just, like, would never ever lose to Dave. Four's Rainbow? Because that would imply that Daox is ahead of Dekka. Because, like, seven's Nangs, right? Or, like, somewhere around there. I, I actually don't know. I, actually, still kind of crazy that, like, Prolific is, like, the bottom of the national PR. Oh, bruh. Four is Rainbow. That is nuts. Uh. Oh, what an edge guard. Davin's... Davin wants this. I'm so scared. I don't know what's going to happen this next game. Thanks for watching this, guys. This is fucking good. Davin the Dota player? <laughs> yeah, crazy. <laughs> he just downed it so many times that Davin thought that he was gonna like go backwards. Fucking huge stock, actually. Nick is doing the work. It's all business for him now. Oh, what an overshoot on the dash attack. Catches Nick. He, Nick had no more stage to run to. Yeah, okay, that tip was real cool, man. <laughs> oh, no jump. No, Davin's gonna jump. Oh, clutch edge guard. Nice. Two. Two. All right, Davin's starting to like stop his dash dance with, um, or, like his run with the uh, crouch now. So like, ooh, nice. Um, so if if Nick puts out a down tilt where Davin like stops in his run, then it can be, mean big damage. Ooh, no. Yeah, Nick's got this probably in the bag at this point. Oh, clutch stadium transfer. Ooh! That jab was that, that net was great. Ah, a bit slow on the CC. Oh, insane dash dance grab. You gotta, you gotta pivot at the end of the uh, This combo could be it. If he gets this read, uh, I thought he was gonna hit him in the air there, but that one might have something still. What? Why do you get sent that way? Yeah, okay, that tip is. <laughs> Good stuff to Nick. Sitting pretty in grants. Um, so this is Ludus and Semis now, which I think is me and um, Flowey. So let's see that. All right. All right, I'm up. Wish me luck. Fucking Why Davin. are we commentating this when we could be commentating Catherine, Caleb, Mario Kart DS money match that's happening right now? I don't want to be involved in any kind of money match between those two. No. You're afraid <laughs> of the sparks that will fly? Oh, yeah. So you reckon going to take this As match? long as McCloud's not around. Caleb really comes into his own when there's no McCloud around. McCloud, bit too alpha for the scene, I think. 
these days? Uh, I mean, he definitely is vocal of his, about his opinions. He doesn't doesn't let anyone stop him from saying things he believes in. Nothing. No, exactly. He he ain't afraid of nobody. Definitely true. Yeah. That's definitely true. Least of all, Caleb. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I think I think that's very factual. He doesn't afraid of anything. You might say. He do he do not he do not afraid. That's a, that's an old meme. You're probably too young to understand that one. That's an old Chinese proverb. Well, maybe ask Devin about it. Why would I ask Devin about it? I don't think he's Chinese. Really? Uh, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't keep close tabs on his lineage. Weird, kind of, kind of racist, but that's fine. <laughs> what, to you? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's not be racist. What do you say? Dig into his personal family history. No, oh, I took the time to learn about that. Yeah, <laughs> not all of us can say that for sure. <laughs> yeah, then maybe there's right ways and wrong ways to go about learning about somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I went through his mail. I, I didn't bother him at all. Yeah, you made sure that he would not notice. Exactly. He would, I, he would sleep soundly, not knowing anything. The last thing I wanted to imp impose on Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Think about Devin. He's a very private person. He doesn't want you digging around. But, uh, but how am I going to offer the best, most customized friendship experience if I don't know a bit about him? You know, I'm like a, I'm like an AI operating system, and in order to deliver, you, you know, need, Devin's needs, need I need the, to know some information. You need the correct parameters to be passed to to your function. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm just I'm going to give him ads that he doesn't for products he's not going to buy. Like, you know. Yeah. And you know, you, like you know books, that books in English. You know, you, like you know, press one in the <laughs> chat if you hate it when your friend gives you incorrect advertisements. You know, press when they're fucking. Well, if I I won't be able to give him the gifts that he would want. You know. Yeah. Of course, we all know that Chinese people love specific gifts. A specific category of gifts. They do. We set those set them aside for them. Well all I can think of when I think of like Chinese people and gift giving is like they just give me like giving a uh, like the little envelopes of money on Chinese New Year. That's a thing. Yeah, I think they also do that in Japan though. Chinese maybe, people maybe, maybe really really cut to the chase. And that's what I, that's a, one of the many things that I like about their culture. They cut to the they chase. Don't Dilly, tiptoe around what's important, you know? You know, I have the feeling you have very little knowledge to back these statements up. No, so, I'm telling you, all right? This is I know you're telling me, but... <laughs> this is mostly based on my experience with David, but he don't fuck <laughs> around. experience with David, who we don't <laughs> even know is Chinese. <laughs> I mean, I think he's probably... Obviously he's a very pragmatic person, and that makes sense. I don't know. I don't even know if he's... Even if he is, like, ethnically Chinese, I have no idea if he even set foot in China. Dude, I, don't, I mean, first of all, I don't even think that, that is the case in the first place. Why are we even talking about this? I don't know, dude. You keep you keep rambling about this. Look, I'm sorry. It's just a habit. <laughs> are you trying to get cancelled? Are you trying to get quit yeah, I'm, by I'm, Devin? I'm, look, I'm just tired of all the if fame. If Devin quit I'm tired. Is I'm tired of all the fame. You know, you know what I said to Devin before I said? I said, Devin, I need this more than you. Please, for a... <laughs> Ooh. Honest to God, I, I kept saying it as well. To the point where he was like, please shut up, Nick. <laughs> See, I don't... Uh, I said, Devin, Melee is my life, and you have other things going for you. Yeah. So please that's let me have it. Make true. it look close, but let me have it. And that's what he did. I respect like, him. three stock him there? In the last game. But it was yeah. game five, you know. I didn't... Obviously, he didn't want us to get too close that I might SD and lose. Right. He's a selfless kind of guy. He and he reason. understands the greatest utility for the greatest amount of people is, is uh, the moral choice. I think we can all agree <laughs> Devin's a great guy. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, the double. Did I see that call out with the lasers? He said, you're going to land here, and I'm just going to let you know that I know. Yeah. And then Jack was like, well, okay, idiot, I'm going to hit you now. Classic Jack. Yeah. But it doesn't save him. It's three stars. Yeah. That's the thing about melee. You can have as many bloody reads as you want. But if you know, you're not if you're not a, a D Gen nerd grinder gamer, you just then lose. it doesn't matter. You yeah. just lose. That's why this Forget sucks. about it. Exactly. That's it's not a game know. for smart people. It's a game for dumb people. Yeah, it's a game for dumb people with too much time on their hands. Yep. And I used to be one of those. Don't get me wrong. But I think You've evolved. Number one, I I've become much more intellectual over the years. Uh, I don't think anyone can really argue that about me. And uh, number wow. two, because I'm such an intellectual, my pursuits have kind of broadened, and the amount of time that I have is less. Some people might foolishly try to argue otherwise. 
Well, they don't know me. They don't know the real you. They don't know the real me. And I'm they trying, haven't, they I'm haven't a, looked through your emails recently, have they? I'm what, what you would call a renaissance man. I used to be I used to be a DJ and like everyone in chat right now. I used to be <laughs> disgusting like you. All right? And that's why I still have some talent that carries But then you over. grew up. But then I, yeah, I realized, you know, there's more to life than being a, a grimy, filthy, disgusting gamer. Yeah. Who's good at melee. Yeah. And then you became a grimy, filthy, disgusting gamer. No, 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 no. no. I a little bit better at melee. No, I... And no, claims? No, 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 that's not me. No, I'm a renaissance man. Sorry, I think I was taking, I was thinking I was taking the wrong way. You were thinking of Caleb or uh, Davin. <laughs> yeah, Davin, that guy. Very grimy. Yeah. Bailey shake I don't know the what, man's you, hand what you mean by that, but it's kind of weird to say. You can barely shake the man's hand without <laughs> slime coming off of it. Still, kind of. Yeah. I do not endorse what Lemons is saying right now. For a of seriousness, I think Kevin's a great person. He's, hey. shown me, he's shown me nothing but love. Devin has never shown me any love. And you know what? I can feel I can feel it coming from within him, you know? Okay. He tries to hide it. That's the great thing about Devin. He's a multifaceted. He's like an onion. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it, but... Hey, like I'm, still, I'm just actually, not going to say it. He's not like an onion. He's like a parfait. You want how? He's got layers, but everybody loves him. I mean, uh, generally, but some people don't like Pope. Everybody loves Pope. <laughs> sure. <laughs> everybody. I had never met nobody that doesn't love Pope. Wait, no. Was it you earlier? You swore up sugar. Was that Musket? I don't believe in sugar. Yeah, it was you, right? Yeah, but everyone loves. It doesn't mean I don't love it. But, you know. You, it's no longer I part of your life. I just recognize that I'm, I've moved on, you know? You've moved on from death. You can love something and let it go. I was talking about this earlier. In fact, sometimes if you love something, you have to let it go. Yeah. I was talking about that earlier, too. You, you, you often long talk time about viewers, things. Long time viewers will know that if you love something, you have to let it go. Long time All viewers right? will get the reference. The OGs. Okay. Do, you know, do you ever think about how good of a viewing experience we deliver and yet we deliver it to only like a few loyal viewers yeah but at the end of the day well, it's, it's still worthwhile because uh even if i just make one person smile that's enough for me you yeah <laughs> there you go it's inspiring words i think that is actually pretty true above all in life just try to do good try to make people happy and that's what i'm trying to do here even if you can well it's Press one if I'm this. making you happy. Press two if Lemons is making you happy. Press three if both of us are making you happy. Or, you know, press four if you're not happy. And press four if you're still in there. If you're listening. Please. Please, please, press, please, please somebody. Press something. Please. <laughs> Hello? Who won that game? Hello? Brad, who won that game? Kai, probably. Hard to say, really. I would guess Kai. Given Chat, that please. He's higher ranked on the, the South Australian PR. Wait, I know somebody's been paying attention in there. <laughs> yeah, Kai would have won. Yeah, see, he's going to Yeah, Kai yeah, yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack's picking the stage. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, I don't, don't know about four. Four was definitely the default option. Would have preferred a three or even a one. But, um. Yeah. Glad you're there. I mean, hey. As long as we're making one person <laughs> there. As long as, as long as somebody hasn't chewed out, yeah. then that's enough We've done our job. You can't, you can't be upset with that. <laughs> yeah. Those results, that's gold. No, not muting? <laughs> Watching a stream and not muting? That means we're doing a good job. That's the goal. Can you think about the amount of sounds that Deckard could choose to listen to right now? He's got literally almost infinite choices. The age, of, the age of the internet, you can listen to anybody. He could literally create a sound right now that no one has ever heard before and then listen to it. And he's choosing Deckard, to listen to us. Get on that. <laughs> I'm just saying. He could like randomize the bits on a CD and listen to that. And it would be a, a humanity's first experience of that sound. Back to the match, even and, and game, he, and game yet, three. He's choosing to experience yeah. humanity's yeah. finest commentary, Joey. Yeah. Uh, TM. Uh, what was Progen D1's commentary name? Uh, A Tribe Corruption. Called Rest. A Tribe Called Rest. I don't remember that. I only remember one commentary duo name. 
And that's for a game that is not this. Well, I'm telling you, it was a tribe called West. A uh, tribe called Rest, sorry, not West. Rest. rest. Like the uh, Sealy Puff move. Yeah. Okay. Long time gamers, uh, long time lurkers will remember that from Apex 2014. Well, they'll remember that Jigglypuff's move is called Rest. Yeah, and they'll also oh, be able to connect the oh, reference. What an angle. What a crisp, crisp little angle. He's, been, he's probably been working on that one all day. He's been cooking the oven. He's been brewing. Yeah, he's, he's been, he's been uh, like... <laughs> He's been like sawing a notch into his controller all afternoon. You guys don't know that, but I've been here watching him do it. Just so he can hit that angle. Yeah. Just another example of how being a greasy nerd just really yeah. propels you in this game. Exactly. People with so, too yeah. much time on their hands and not enough intelligence. Uh, yeah. and so if, if that fits you, then come on down. We're here every week. You know? Yeah. Always looking for new fresh faces. You know I dug shit inside this very room like two hours ago. Uh, I don't. That's I can neither confirm nor deny. That's, that is alleged. That's how, that's how gamer we are right that's, now. <laughs> that's an alleged statement. I, I want to say I do not it stand by this. Probably like less than a meter away from where I'm currently sitting I on the say, carpet right now. I want to say <laughs> this, is not, this is not confirmed. Any uh, any any gamers listening? This is uh, all conjecture. This is all probably fantasy. I mean, coming out to Evac by all means, if you're comfortable with that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm not, and I won't be coming in the future. Well. But, um, so I don't, I don't think there <laughs> is any dog shit here. A dog shat, that's what I'm saying. But the dog shit. If there. there, if there were such an event taking place, that had taken place, it would be because there was a, there was a dog here. There is a dog here. It's a therapy dog. I don't know what kind of therapy. I it don't provides. think it is a therapy think, dog. I think if you weren't toilet trained, it's not. It's, it's just somebody's dog. I'm pretty sure. I think it's a Casper said it was a therapy dog. Yeah, but she likes to say all kinds um, of things. The thing about, look. I, how would you trust a dog who is not capable of being toilet trained to like perform any kind of therapy? The thing, yeah. <laughs> see, I think you've cracked the code. I don't think it is a therapy dog. <laughs> oh man! All right. And Kai wins three zero. He does against. What a cr what a great performance! What a great uh, set we just witnessed. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to witness more great sets like that, and Devin Devin is saying something. I can't quite understand what he's saying, but um. He's saying, really, yeah, he's saying I, words. Sorry, man. I don't. I, I'm, I'm commentating with lemons right now. <laughs> yeah, nope. look, sorry. Man. I just couldn't understand what it, did you, did you Did you understand what he was saying? I did not hear what he was saying. Yeah. He's wearing, like, earphones as well. So he's, he is. He's got his, Very uh, antisocial. I find sometimes when I'm talking with headphones and I don't have the, the feedback of my own voice, my words become garbled, you know? Uh, pulling out the I just willy ball. nilly spit out syllables like it's nobody's business, you know? You know how it is. Man, what a beautiful rest. Beautiful wow. rest. Is Davos going to play Jigglypuff against Kaiser? He might. He Would might he be dare? testing his limits. Would he dare? I think he would rest, actually. I think he might dare as well. Uh, one thing I was talking to Davin about, uh, you know, when he would finally give me the time of day to have a real man to man conversation with me. Was that he plays Dota now? And yeah. um, what I've gleamed, game. gleamed, but is it gleamed or gleamed? It's gleamed. It's gleamed. Gleamed is like gained knowledge. Gleamed is like shined. Okay. Yeah, but I what, think gleamed is a word. Actually. What I, what I gleamed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gleamed is like the gleam of the neon light at night from the diner. I guess it is a word, but the gle it's not what I gleamed. Often. What I gleaned, let me just continue my thought and we can go back to gleam and gleam. Because <laughs> even when something's gleaming, you don't really say gleamed. It gleams, you know. Gleaming. Yeah, you know, things can gleam. Dude, lights can definitely gleam, bro. Damn, chain grab? You're telling me a neon light can't gleam? It can gleam. I didn't say it couldn't. Yeah, and what if the light went out? It would have gleamed in the bus. So what I gleaned from the conversation with Devin is that he now plays Dota. Yes. And what I gleaned about Dota from my years of living with a Dota fanatic, with a Dota fanatic, is that Dota is a game of strategy and not of like not so much in the moment reads as much as melee, but of an overarching tactics and strategy. True. And I gleaned that. I mean, so there anyway, is, and what there I'm is saying is, reads. I think maybe he wants to play a more strategic type of match with Jigglypuff rather than a scramble like he might play with Sheik. He wants to play a really macro-focused game plan. See, now you're just saying words. 
you what is, what, you, what is you, Matt you, Craven you mean? You haven't gleaned what anything is, from what this What does Matt Craven mean? Tell me that. You haven't gleaned a single thing I know in the last Ma 10 minutes. I know what Matt Craven means. I, I, what does Matt Craven mean? When was the last time you gleaned anything, my friend? You have <laughs> I gleaned that I don't... I, I don't I've gleaned uh, that I don't think <laughs> that you know what Matt Craven means. I've gleaned that you don't have a lot happening upstairs, all right? That's what I'm gleaning right now. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think you do. You're saying Matt Craven? What does it mean? I'm... I'm what does saying, it mean in maybe the context that's why of this game? He would want to play Puff. Yeah, but how does macro factor? You don't into think it? Puff can play a more macro style of game than Sheik, which is very micro focused. I think Sheik can play a very macro game. No, I think Puff. You can really choose the moments you want to go in. You can you can like uh, play oh, a more even... more strategic, uh, broad game plan of positioning rather than like being forced into scrambles, which might happen if you play in Falco as Sheik. I mean. But... He looks pretty micro right now. He looks like a little micro man. That's what I'm saying. He needs to embiggen himself. He needs to, yeah, exactly. Get up that macro and you know, scale. Dave Davin has the noblest spirit. Yeah. So I, he, if anyone could do it, he could. He could turn himself from a David into a Goliath. Long time oh, viewers. Oh, long time viewers will get that call back. Thank you to all our long time viewers. We could not do it without you. Yeah, thank you very much. Just, uh, we uh, wouldn't do it without you. Put a po put a poke champ in the chat. Just please, please, please. give us a po any emote, any emote, it does anything, like, please, any emote. Please put a poke, po poke champ in the chat so I can screenshot it. God, and show it's been it to years my mom. since I lost our emote. I I, oh, I, need, I need this. I, never, I need a win. You know, one day you can see you lost emote. I, I never. Oh, thank you. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> long time view thank you to my longtime viewer, Brad oh, SBM. Yeah. And now we're going to have a classic. I saw Australian classic. One that's already happened today. That's how classic it is. So classic, you have to do it twice. So classic, it went to game five, lost goddamn stop. All right, in oh, winners. And now Kai saying, none of that matters. Yeah, because I'm getting grabbed. Help. Because Davin took an auto loss against SA Nick. So oh. the winner said, really doesn't matter. Collusion? <laughs> yeah, I, he, I told him to throw because, uh, you know, he needed a win. Because of ethics. Ethics. <laughs> because of utilitarianism. Yeah. Makes sense. I hope you're there for me when all the emotes are gone, Brad. One day in the Baron. <laughs> when the emotes have gone extinct, I hope there's still Brad as his BM. Still, still I hope he's making little, little ASCII uh, emotes in the chat. They'll look one day the historians will be able to look back and see the trail where it all ended. And they'll oh, see Brad S SSBM right there at the very end. I was watching um, a part of XL stream. Yeah. Uh, like a YouTube video that he made. Okay. And um, he has this chat in the overlay. And specifically in the chat it's like I'm recording a YouTube video, no penis. And then someone posted this enormous ASCII art penis and it was the most glorious you only see it for like one second but in youtube you get pause so you can actually see it for as long as you like and uh i think twitch you love to see that. that happen it was like so yeah it was it was like very lifelike honestly lifelike yeah anyway it's that's good to know it's I good to know we've got some young artists just, out there flying their train uh, if anyone else has seen a penis on the internet recently uh, uh press one in chat if you haven't seen any penises recently on the internet or otherwise, press 2. Yeah. Feels if bad. you only see penises offline, but you don't see them online, press 3. Okay. That's but if you these days. see them online and offline, you can uh, feel free to do anything. If you if you create penis images, press 4. Yeah, and we appreciate you. Just no, the internet would not be the same without people like you. It definitely would not be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, we've, I think we've said it all. Yeah, Tikano, I hadn't got around to six yet, but six was if you, if you like, spam uh, pictures of your own penis to other people on the internet. And like a, like a hero. Twitter, like unsolicited. Yeah. Not all the heroes wear capes. Yeah, exactly. So, Tikano, uh, no. Prolific in the in the dick pic. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard that before. <laughs> um, in many ways, Brad, you already are. Oh, and Kai getting absolutely spanked that game. Chic. 
That's one for the bloody one for the books. highlight reels. Yeah. Ready. And Devil's saying, "Take me anywhere, bro, because I can fight you there. All right. And, uh, You're just a bird, and I am a ninja. Right. I'm a. Guys, like, I'm gonna take you to FD, and I'm gonna get grabbed." Exactly. Devin's good on FD. Devin, a master troll, uh, saying to me as I picked FD, oh no, don't take me to FD, and then beating me. <laughs> also beat me on FD in the friendly we played on FD. I was like, as soon as he said that, I was like, he's definitely fucking with me. He likes FD. I mean, he's got to be good at it, right? He's got to take there all the time. Oh, Devin, I will say, not good on Pokemon Stadium in the one match we played. Got, got a little Quiet, bit no coaching. Fizzing. Coaching on the set. <laughs> Oh, and that's a long but... tech roll. He's saying, let me roll all the way out of here. Tactical roll. Uh, commando roll. Commando roll? Commando roll. Spicy tuna roll. You know, you know roll. Clyde, my, my Dota playing friend? I do know Clyde. Press uh, he, one in the chat if you know Clyde. Press one in the chat if you know Clyde. Uh, he's come climbing a few times recently, and when he falls down... Um, he says, oh no! <laughs> no, he oh does no a he's... full... When he, like, when he, even when he's like deliberately falling down to like get off the top of the climb, he does like a full commando roll every time. It's really funny. <laughs> he says it's because he used to do judo and like that's just the correct way to fall. But it's like it takes up several meters of like the gym space for him to like roll all the way over there. He should, he should just take the damage. He should just take the damage. Exactly. Honestly, the fall damage is like not that significant because the mat is like very soft. Judo might be the least hype martial art, actually. It's just that, like, nothing really happens to Judo. Yeah, I don't know, I think Judo's pretty cool. You, like, throw people over your shoulder. Can someone so message Microsoft J, by the way? Uh, I wish he was here. It's Losers Finals, by the way, for all the idiots. For all the gamers out there. For all the people who forgot to update the stream. Yeah, Nick. Don't talk to me. Alright, well, you just have to do the rest of this by yourself. Uh, and Kai saying, I may be down, but I'm not out. Yeah. Maybe. I may be down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Kai was going to make it back there. Devin's usually pretty good at finishing people off when he gets them on stage. No. Devin, Devin a renowned choker of uh, melee. Is he? Maybe. I'd say. Who's your source? It's renowned, bro. It's public domain. <laughs> You're that in your public domain. Oh, what an insane up air. Get <laughs> fucked. Ouch. Yeah, your dad Kaiser just fucked Devin. I'll tell you that much. I'm not afraid to. I'm not afraid to keep it real in the commentary booth. Yeah. All right. Regardless <laughs> of the consequences. Look, that's the one thing that's missing from. Uh, Melee these days. Realness. There I said it. He said it? <laughs> there I said it. <laughs> Alright. And if no one else has got the cojones to keep it real, then uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it. Yeah. Oh. Are you in the chat, you find yourself on the precipice between real and fake. Look, if you, you can't handle me at my worst, Lemon, you don't deserve me at my best, alright? That's one of my, uh, that's something I always say. It's a very toxic thing to say, Nick. You know, well, you know what's toxic? Is being a, a fair weather friend. You know what's toxic? Toxic sludge. No, Nick is not here. It's good as yeah. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, I'm so embarrassed that you didn't, didn't even make the, the connection. You're at bouldering with Ando. I haven't seen Ando in a minute. How is he doing? What's bouldering? He's climbing. Okay. Because I pictured like two guys like just moving, rolling a boulder along. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, a little bit. It's like uh, Sisyphus. It's like we yeah. talked about this last time. Long time viewers remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but if you're a long time viewer, like months ago, I think we were talking about this. This is in the famous commentary uh, set where I kept it a little too real. A little Muscat. too real. And he and he, uh, he popped off on you. He had a little bit of a, a little bit of a cry about it. It's a bit serial, mate. You need to cut that down. Regarding Skip as his BM. I think Devin needs to win this for the people to stay in chat. I think they're all just Devin supporters. But I want to see Kai win because I think he's swag, hype, and cool. So, a bit of a conflict of interest. Swag, hype, 
cute, cool, and real. I was talking to Muskett about this earlier. He, along with me, might be the realest motherfuckers out here. Yeah, you don't want to pull up on him. <laughs> you don't want to. You do not want to. Kai be going, brap brap, skirt. <laughs> Bada boo. <laughs> yeah, Kai be Kai be really oh. out here. Jazz scatting on people. He'd be like, buddy, bop, boot up, beep. Barry, beep, bop, boop. <laughs> beep, bop, boop. Maybe ad living on the sticks right now. I'd definitely be pulling out a crazy, crazy animal. That's a, that's a reference for some uh, some boomers out there. Sorry, bro, I don't understand that reference. Oh, yeah. And even if I did, I would. Uh, no, wait, that's not true. If I did, I would, I would give it a solemn nod. You, you never heard of uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Crazy Frog? Yes, I have heard. I have Musical been. genius. I agree. Lyrical artist. I, I wouldn't call him lyrical. I would say I think he his flow is like, unparalleled. That's true. I've never heard him drop a rhyme. He's got flows like a fish or like an amphibian. Yeah. He can do both. Oh no, that was everything. That was everything. You hate oh, no to see short, everything. And he's dead. That's that absolute bloody feel when it's everything. <laughs> that feel when. That's. When everything. You've, you've given it everything you have and it's not enough. That feel when you spend days practicing just for this one moment in time. And then all of a sudden it's taken away from you by a little missed input, a little bit of nerves, a little choke, a little mistake, one a little, little bit of human error. One little crazy little frog. Oh, it's a dream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One tiny frog. Just, uh, oh, Kai really be moving. He's saying, what's a laser? I don't know. Let me just run really slowly at you and occasionally do moves and get grabbed. Uh, bold strategy, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See if it pays up. Oh. You know what? I think he's already kind of abandoned it. Oh, oh, oh. Kai's saying, I respect you, and you won't go for a shield grab. And Devin's saying, I'm I don't respect myself. Grab. I have no self respect. That's what Devin was saying. That's a shield grab of a person who doesn't even respect themselves. Alright. Looking, looking smooth. So far. The bird. No jump. <laughs> what a stupid idea. Devin, going that a bit. That might have been a bit more stupid. Yeah. Devin, I'm going to say it. Making bad choices. And man, we, bad life choices. And at the end of the day, we're not defined by who we are. We're defined by the choices we make. All right? Yeah. Remember that, guys. It's not who you are, it's what you do that matters, alright? Your actions don't determine the uh, yeah. circumstances of your birth, don't determine your actions. Oh, absolutely DI'd out like a chump, probably, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Hard to say. I don't know, I wasn't really watching, but uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Kai's saying, that's funny. Wait till you, you know, see me win something, something. See me in losers. Yeah, see oh, me in uh, you know what's really funny? A good combo. That's what he's saying. Sorry, right. it took me a while to get there. But yeah. Just like it's taken Kai a while to get there, but I think he's getting in this groove. Oh, he'd be grooving. He's up in this he's up in this game four. He takes it now with a you know, maybe a good two stock. He's well positioned to take the whole thing. But that's just moving around. He's saying, let me get out of the uh, the danger zone. He really do be saying. He's honestly that's one thing I always hear him say. But not with his words, with his actions. Yeah. I went for a cheeky protein on the platform, but no bueno. Kai always trying to find a little uh, little niche situation. That's one thing you can you can be sure about with Kai. He's always weaseling around. Yeah, he's a very resourceful, crafty, uh, you know, shrewd, Cretin. uh, cretinous human. <laughs> I think cretin actually means like stupid, right? <laughs> uh, you know, just don't worry about that. I'm in a moment of silence here on the mic. Lemons scratching his head thinking, what am I going to say? How am I going to break the silence? Uh, and Nick, I just bravely... Let the record state, I was not scratching my head. Bravely committing to the first sentence. 
And that's sometimes what it takes in a commentary duo, all right? That's what makes a good duo. One person to just say, you know what, I'm done with the silence. I need to say something. The theme of this commentary duo is bravery. Yeah. We, we're just saying what everyone else is... Oh, oh and Kai speaking really of brave. Making choices that everyone else is afraid to make. Uh, you know what? I am going to go down there. Is it going to work? Maybe. Kai's saying, yeah, look, I am at 30%, but fuck it. You're low. You know, yeah. you only live once. It's true. That is what that means. So, you know, you learn something new every day. If you didn't know that, you, now you know it. Exactly. Now you can keep up with the kids when they say it. Oh, how did he know? Oh, absolutely dead. You know what they say, uh, who dares wins? That's like what, what Kai did. Yeah, it's like and the classic now. film where eagles dare. Exactly. Uh, and Kai playing very safe. He's going to YOLO with an end. He is oh, almost dash dead. Dash insane. Nutty. And Dab is saying, let me just real quick give that a little bit of a DI. All right. And just change his Zelda for some reason. All right, game five. On the on the point. You're right, Brad. That was a risky thing to say. I think Brad is another person who is comfortable with saying what other people are too afraid to say, but are thinking on the inside. Yeah. And that's really what separates people like me, you, Brad, um, Davin. Not Davin. No, I was going to say specifically not Davin. I would say that he separates he separates him from the rest of us. Yeah, he separates Ready? us from Davin. That he's not afraid to say what really what he really thinks deep on the inside. I don't even want to know what Dab really thinks on the inside. It's probably then why were you looking through his mail? See, long time viewers will get that. <laughs> well, thank you to all the long time viewers for keeping me it's honest. Fair. All right, for making sure I don't contradict myself. And Dab is saying maybe we were on the Pokemon Stadium before, but now we're on the Founder of Nightmares. And this is my counter pick. This is where I make all my money. This, this is, is where, where I, I get my $15. This is where I come to play. This is where you go, go, go to buy time. It's where birds go to Good die. Time. Very famous these days for having a lot of four stocks. I wonder if we'll see a four stocks. So, oh, uh, it's looking unlikely right now. It's slipping away. But Wait a minute. Oh, oh, calculated. Kai, so smart. Um, so smart. So many people would not be brave enough to go for that option. They'd be thinking, oh, can I do it? But Kai just does it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Kai also in that rare company of people who are afraid to do and say what other people are, you know. You know what I'm getting at. Yeah, 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 yeah you know. Yeah. Willing to do the hard yards. Exactly. But also the easy yards. And also the controversial yards. And the brave yards. That's, that's every Any kind of yard you give him, he's, he's Look, down there doing it. Kai, Kai will literally take any yard, all right? Any yard, it's done. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Oh, oh Kai San, let me just give you a quick up tilt. Yeah. yeah, everything covered though. Oh, Three. goes for the grab. That's one way to get your position reversal. Just to go for a big old grab. Sometimes in life, you gotta try and apply that corner pressure consistently rather than uh, risking it all, betting it all. On, on what? A Falco grab? A forward throw? On the $33 from the tournament win? Yeah, exactly. And now Davin, look at him. He's, he's poning. He's cleaning up. Davin saying, you best come correct if you're going to try and grab me when I'm in shield on the corner. Or I'll roll inwards and then push that advantage to a stop lead. Uh -huh. that's, that's, he didn't say that, but his eyes said that. His soul said it. You had to read. Yeah. And Kai saying, let me just grab you again. <laughs> he really do be saying that. <laughs> oh man, we're so hip with the kids. I mean, I don't, I don't like to say this often about myself, but I am pretty hip with the kids. And I think the two of us really have our fingers on the pulse. The thing about being down with the kids is I put in like hours and hours of preparation. I was saying this to you earlier. Yeah. When I go to commentate a tournament, I don't just show up, you know, willy-nilly, say what's on my mind. I put in hours of research into what the kids are saying. Long-time viewers will know. Long-time viewers will know that I, I constantly evolve. Oh, he's on his last legs. Hi, Sam. Let me just answer check that and get back to stage. Yeah, it's that easy. Dabin's saying I would hate to lose this. You can I feel know. how much Dabin would hate to lose this. He's just going to try and take it any way. That's a brave option. Oh, it's too 
yeah, brave for me. Yeah, and Kai shrugging his shoulders saying, I don't care. I don't care about melee. Who cares? Oh, it's a dog here. Davin? Yeah, that's the dog that shat everywhere. Uh, allegedly. It's the pooping dog. Allegedly. Uh, let it be known. Let it be known that allegedly. Then I'm gonna go... I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shining until Davin starts crying. Uh, I don't think that known. line's down with the kids anymore. I think that's past the point that you can use that. Uh, press 1 in the chat. For no particular reason. Uh, all right, grand finals. What's up? <laughs> Don't worry was, about it. You know what? Like, I'm actually really happy with that set. Oh yeah? Um, yeah. Nah, I just got to learn how to hold my controller better because that happens a lot because I press Z when I go to like ledge dash accidentally. Ah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's why I get those areas. Definitely could have done that, but like, Davin was also playing like a monster. Oh, are they just going in? Oh, they are. They're Ruben, going straight Ruben in. Ruben is not around tonight, unfortunately. So this is grand. This is huge. This has actually been a sick evac, honestly, because, like, um, Nick's here, Davin's here. The only person really kind of missing is Ruben um, and Musket. Actually, Musket is here. Yeah, I know, but he didn't enter. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was too. He wanted to let you guys have a win. Yeah, I guess he's just really thoughtful like that. Yeah. Yeah, Ruben fans unite. Team. If you're a Ruben fan you haven't followed yet, please follow. Yeah. He's here often. This is a one-time thing, we swear. This game is some light. Let's not, leave, let's not leave him in the Dark Ages. They illuminate. Ooh! So that tip was... <laughs> oh, no! That sucks. You hate to see that happen. Or you love to see it happen. <laughs> Press one if you'd love to see that. Oh, oh, that was such a good decision to go for that back air afterwards. Yeah, big damage. There's actually big potential for this set. Um, so Nixon winners and Dallas is in losers. They did play in uh, winners finals, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So um, one. This would actually be a really good. Like, like we could be in for a, you know. A big long set here, but like I don't know. Could be like, Nick's Nick's really strong, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's really strong. A pretty strong gamer. Although the matchup, I mean, Davin's also pretty good, and the matchup can be. It's pretty strong for. Rubbish. I think it's yeah. pretty strong for Sheik, like most of the time. Like uh, like Mars, I feel have a hard time edge guarding Sheik. Yeah. She and like she has a really easy time edge guarding Ma. Yeah, a bit of an easier time killing. Oh, no jump, no jump. This is no. big for Davin. If he gets a good read here, and he doesn't. It goes all the way to the ledge to get back. That's pretty not so. I mean, you don't want to. Ooh! Yeah, no tech. You're just gonna sit there. You're just gonna get tippet. It hit me with like the Street Fighter 2 death down. You know when someone dies in Street Fighter 2 and they're like. Ooh! Like they really linger. Two wins. Real Raiden. <laughs> you need a different. Zero. Hadouken. <laughs> That's my favorite, actually. Hadouken. I'm Chun Li. I'm Sub Zero. Hadouken. <laughs> A O. Perfect. <laughs> Nick's doing really well here, even with all the slide ups that Davin's doing. Oh, this could be it. Oh, sick ledge grab. Yeah, nice. He wanted a tipper there, but like, he's still gonna reset the situation just on the opposite side. Oh, and a dunk ski! Nice. nice. Good way to start the set off, actually. Yeah. I like that. The tipper leads to the weak hit, leads into the dev. Mm. It's all flowing together nicely. Really cool evac today, honestly. I don't have a gun. I just love that. It's clip. such a good <laughs> clip. It's actually such a good clip. Sub Zero. Sub Zero wins. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> uh, this is winners. So, oh, damn, Nick's on Fox again because we are on Dreamland. Yeah. Bringing it back. Long time viewers will remember from winners. 
when uh, they play this very match at this very stage. A run back. Ooh. See, Nick, I don't know how many people realize that, is that like, Nick is one to press buttons. Yeah, plenty of buttons, a lot of buttons. Ooh! Plenty of place box. You see how much like stage he pretended to give Davox there? And he like got a really good area. Oh, that pressure! Man. Yeah, totally safe doing the whole thing, pretty much. Oh, great SDI. Davin's not making this easy yeah. for Nick, but like Nick's just seem, seems like he's just that class above. I think Davin's had to pull out a few Hadoukens if he wants to snap back into this. Eric Andre is not a personality trait, Clemens. <laughs> I just love that clip. <laughs> Me too. Actually, there's only one person I know who's probably that much more into Eric Andre than anyone else. Eric Andre? No, uh, fucking Snark from Vic. Vic. He, I mean, he's definitely one who's gonna try and make Eric Andre a personality trait. I, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't really know much about him. I just like that clip. I love that clip too. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't watch the show. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. I haven't really seen much. I just saw that clip. Okay. I was like, wow, this is a godlike clip. <laughs> right oh! Alright, doesn't get the second one. It's nice moves, but. It's ready. They've been trying to be slippery and working his way around, but they are every corner. Ah. Uh, Nick was so ready for Davox to uh, crash cancel there and like appropriately pick that down air. Alright, here we go. Something started for Davox. Yeah, he's gonna make a big, big, make a big count. Oh wow, what a sick stall. Nice CC too. Ah, uh, he doesn't get the ledge dash. Oh, still gonna work out. Nick wanted to aggro. As if that didn't hit the fox. Bruh. Come on now. Impeach and TSC. I'm dead ass serious. I can, I can only say one thing to that, and I don't think you want to hear it. Yeah, look, that pr if, even if we tried to, it'd get acquitted, so... Hope you appreciate that biting social commentary, guys. <laughs> I, the only thing I can say... Uh, I've seen so many clips of people just like impersonating Street Fighter 2 sounds that it's like... Watch uh, DHC glitch? Huh? Watch DHC glitch? I don't know that one. You don't know that one? That's, that, you I don't know look that one. That's really good. Alright, you, you gotta show me. Just pop okay. it in the essay chat. I, my phone is kind of ancient. I don't think I have the technology to do it. Alright. Put it in the essay chat when you get home. Okay. Yeah. We got a puppy in the building. No, you are not going this way. Get out of here, doggy. Come on, you're really pretty. Go away. Damn. That really teaches you something about life, doesn't it? You can be as pretty as you want, but it just doesn't get you through every door. You got to put in the work. I've never seen that that dog here with a game controller in his hands. Alright, on the last oh, stop of this match. Ah, he missed the short ball. And that's gonna cost him dearly. Cost him big time. I think I made Davin use too much juice. So really, uh, Nick has you to thank. Nah, Nick has the US trip to thank. He's currently powered up because he's playing Fox. So, when he switches to Fox, he becomes USA Nick now. The American, All-American Nick. All-American Nick. Yeah. Oh, that up to was so crispy. Oh, I'm so surprised he went that long without getting here. Oh, okay. Aye. Yeah. I feel like he doesn't normally go for stuff like that. His edge cards can be more... I don't know, less, less gambly and more... Like, they are really trying to mix each other up in the gambles on the, off the ledge. Like... Davox... Ooh, that's it! That's actually it. Damn. Nick was, like, literally so ready to so ready. for that, like, double jump. Which is like, flip, done. 
Oh, oh sick down smash. Practice. Oh, come on. I'm like, surely the Firefox is actually like hitting the needles. Like the hitbox is hitting the needles, and that's why it's. That'd be crazy. It's bigger in NTSC, so like I wouldn't be surprised. Like significantly bigger. <laughs> like the t the launch, like the launch Firefox. No jumps. Oh damn. Oh damn, Nick. He's like, whatever. This is so hard for Sheik to come down from. Because Fox can just run the whole stage. Yeah. Like, like unless Davin hit the SCI, he was done so. And he really got it. Like, he's gonna go home and practice it. Oh. <laughs> he does it again. Nice. nice. There's some really good, like, counterplay going on right now. Ready like, for those little situations as they happen. And one more. Yeah, baby. I don't think I've ever seen David down smash this much. <laughs> right. Like he does like almost <laughs> ten. It's because Nick doesn't have the wave dash out punish on it. Or like C stick up down air. Right. Yeah. C stick up and down air out of shield is actually a godsend for Fox versus Sheik. Because you get it's buffered, so you get So if Davin wins this, we can pass on the message, Brad. So we need a lot of energy in here. Oh no! Give Getting her energy. Getting our smash on the top player. Potential yeah. last dog. Oh, bruh. Come on, Davin. You gotta slap him. Put him away. Davin, if you win this, Brad will play D3 with you. I think he's a dead man. Yeah, he does. He's got the AirPods. He can't hear you. He's got the AirPods in. No. There's a fox running at him. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Davin's oh, gonna yes. make it. Oh, oh, nice. Hell yeah. Davin brings it to 2 no. 1. Go. No, I don't want. I don't want to. Still in it. I don't want to go in there now. Davin's on a roll. I don't want to break his mojo. Okay, go on a Marth. Go on a stadium. Oh, hi. Interesting. Why did he went to stadium and not FT as, as is traditional? Um, I can tell you. I mean, I the up tilts so. on the platform are pretty good against Sheik. I feel. I think it's because Nick took him there last set and then lost. That's why. Is that true facts? That is true facts. He took him there. Davin said, oh no, don't take me to FD. And then he beat him. Right. That's right. Yeah, see. Alright, the I feel like the platform is not too bad for Marth against Sheik here. Oh. Oh! Even if she does land on it, you can still cover it. Yeah. It's uh, the transformation is probably for Sheik. Potentially. I don't know. You know, I feel like SA is on the verge of a level up. I think with the competition we have at the top end of us, whoa, clutch up B, he went right through that dunk. Um, yeah, I feel like SA's on the brink of a level up because we have such, like, Davox has, like, had this uh, time back in SA, um, and Nick coming back from the US, he's looking really fresh, and he's looking really practiced, and he's bringing all the knowledge and all the experience home with him for all us boys. He's got the treasure and he's coming back two, home. Two, two, two. Hey, what, what did he... It looked, it looked like he treated there. Like, what kind of hit was that? This is looking really rough for Davox. He needs to clean the... Aww. Yeah, Davox is like flubbing some really small things, but like you can tell he's just like letting the opportunity slip away. Because of it. Okay. Oh, that shield though. Looking like a... Like green. That net in there. Yes. Oh, even on stocks for that percent lead is huge. Ooh, six ten. I like Davin's horizontal movement lots. I think he's swag. Gotta be gotta be Chris with that. Sheik's got that unusual movement that most top tier characters don't have. Oh my god, what a pivot grab. Oh, Davin's going it. off. Put oh. away. Grab oh, he's going for the poke there. I think get he it. actually did want to grab him there. Two traps in the corner like that didn't seem like something he wanted to do. Yeah. See, now Nick is ready for that jab. 
See, that's a, I feel like that happens to a lot of players. It's like, you mess up the thing you want to do, and so you do your wrong thing, right? And so then you do the thing that you do want to do, but like the other person's already ready for it because they already know what it looks like when you fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, you do something wrong, but then you, you immediately try to do it again, even though the moment's passed. Yeah, yeah. You're better off not doing that. Oh, that miss. Sheik's hurt box is broken. I actually hate fighting Sheik as uh, Just like... If I was Fox, it would just be so much funner, you know? Yeah, it does seem... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Took a gamble and it paid off. Yeah, he knew he was going to crash down some there. Yeah, that was a down holder. He's got to hold down a lot if he wants to meet Brad and D3 tonight. It's an excellent trade for him. I want to see... If you got a big cheesy mode, I want to see it. Definitely I know you it. can redeem like chat points for it now. Oh no, Nick's yeah. just in his head. He's he's no like, jump? Which, which, I don't think he's got a jump. He's like, which side am I gonna land on? I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna tip you. Watch out! Oh, there's the. Oh, that's it. Yeah, out. The eyes out. You're scared of the down air. Three one. <laughs> Nick wrapping up the tournament just in time for Liam to see before his phone dies. What? Not you, Liam. That Liam. Ah, oh, right. His phone's on two percent. Damn. Is that well, the that's Liam. I think it is. Uh, speedrunner. Former. TF2, okay. Smasher. I was, I was thinking of former, former Nick roommate. Two two. Sorry, two three to him. I was like, I don't think it was two two. Well, in t it was two two when I uh, just back out off the stage and killed myself. So you know, like it was two two. Just. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lemon, you should need okay. Me? Yeah, yeah. Talk to him. Talk to him. Okay. Welcome to the uh, the couch, which you can clearly see is not a couch, but never mind that. Hello. How are you feeling? Hey, stream. How are you doing? Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for the kind words. No, you played very well. You leveled up a lot since coming back from America. You leveled up so much since coming back from America. It's no surprise that you would have won. You just had a one-month melee trip. Do you, do you want to talk to him? I think I think you do well. I think Lemons is interviewing me right now. Am I? I don't, I don't feel like I am. I feel like there's something magical going on here that we could capture for the stream. No, no. You know? Yeah. No? Now that the uh, wannabe interviewer is gone. Okay. Hello, right. stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? So how, do you, how do you feel about the... About this tournament, you had a bit of a bit of a rough loss there at the end. Yeah, it seemed it like sucked. you weren't quite yourself in a few places. You know? I I don't know, man. Nick's just too good, especially after coming back from America. There was nothing I could do to beat him. Nothing you could nothing. do. It was a rigged game from the start. It. Think about it. Nick is number three on the Oz PR. I'm five. He's number one on the SAPR, and I'm three. How am I meant to beat him? This is statistically a, not in your favor. This is in an, an impossible matchup as well. It's yeah. Just, so if you it. ever do beat him, you know that really. It really means that he's fallen a lot. Yeah. If um, I ever do beat him. But yeah, it was um, good showing by everyone for this tournament. It was a lot of close games, I think. Yeah, it's true. A lot of close games. Could have gone everywhere. <laughs> could have gone anyone's way. Could really? You know, really could have. Henning, did you want? Did you want some uh, time on stream? Did you want some time on stream? Yeah. Nick. Nick. Yes. No. I, I feel do like. Do you want some time on stream? I feel like. I feel like. I feel like Nick wants something out of here, but he's not saying it in plain English. You know, Nick, I thought you were a brave person. You know, the Nick I knew would always just say what he was feeling in the moment. Long time viewers will remember that he said that. Nick's really fallen, hey? It's that, it's that American culture. He's become very conservative. Yeah, very it's not reserved. like him. It's not like him. Maybe that match changed something about him. I agree. You left I agree. an impression it's on really him. It's really changed a lot these days. It had him really a lot. Had him mixed up. But yeah, it was a f it was a fun tournament. Too yeah. bad that Muscat didn't enter because I really wanted to play Muscat this tournament. Oh yeah, why yeah. is that? Just um, PR spot, SA PR spot. Uh, yeah. But how could you possibly win if he's number two and you're number three? Good point. Isn't but he's not on the, he's not on the Australian PR, so there's like a 50-50 chance for me to win. Right, it. right. Why isn't he? Shouldn't he be number four or something? Yeah, he should that only makes should. sense, right? Probably should be, I think. Damn. For sure. But that's not the case. Whoever yeah. was on the panel, you did a horrible job. Yeah. Horrible, horrible job, panelists. I mean, you might not remember this, but there was a moment 
in a game, the last the last game of the set, where he was far away and you did dash attack and you got the weak hit. And I remember you telling me a while ago that normally you use boost grab to in yeah. such situations. Can you tell me what happened there? I think I just turned I'm my just brain curious. off the entire set, to be honest. Yeah. Me versus Kai, that was, that took all of my brain power plus some more. Damn. And then since uh, Nick is... um. No, I don't really care about playing Nick. I just turned my brain off. That's it. Oh, yeah, the down smashes. That was pretty fun. I just wanted to see how forward would happen if I kept down smashing him. And it kind of worked. Didn't work in the math game, though. So how was your experience at a South Australian tourna tournament? South Dallas? Australian tournament? Oh, it's my first one, so I, I really like how it's run here. It's very I've seen you on the VODs interstate, and you usually, you honestly, you usually win. So it's weird to see you getting losing against me. Interstate? Have I ever won an interstate tournament? I don't think so, no. Well, I see you play against, like, for instance, Miles, Don B, Dobney, um... Yeah, like many high-ranking Australian players, those and you are usually majors. honestly win. So. Those are majors, you know. I need to turn honestly, my brain on. Honestly, a little on. bit refreshing for me as a viewer to see you lose. I turn my uh, brain I'm, on. I'm sure that the people in the chat feel the same. I'm sure they do as well. Hey, chat. But how do you feel? You is, it, is it unusual territory t for you to, to lose, lose? Nick? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. You're just that much better. I do have the uh, numerical advantage in the rankings. Exactly. I've already, we've, I think we I think we've already South been over Australian this. Australian PR. We've we already been over this. National Nick. PR. We got You're not going to get anything out of me from this. I don't want. It, I don't want anything. From, I've already. I've already got all of the happiness I can extract from you, Dabox. Yeah, and some more. <laughs> really glad I don't have to play Diablo three with Dabo now. Hey, Brad, do you want to play Diablo three? It'll it'll be fun. Trust me. We can go after this. I I, I want to play some Dota. I'm trying to eat. You want to play some uh, melee, Nick? On stream for the viewers. Do you want to play some melee? No. That was a joke. Melee's a joke. Melee's sick, man. It's a game for grubby little nerds with too much time and not enough intelligence. Like you. Like Sad. I. Yeah, I know. I've come to realize that it's not a good game. Really? Why is that? Tell me why, Nick. Tell me exactly why. Uh, Give me at least two and a half like, reasons. It took me days to explain it. Two and a half it's reasons. It's like a complex understanding that I've, I've come to have. Oh, really? It, that it sucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it must, must suck to be you, so enlightened and everything. Must must be a really different viewpoint from up there, eh? Top three I feel like I have a lot of responsibility uh, with all the power and knowledge that I have to use it in a wise yeah. way. To, like, spread the truth to the people. Exactly. Why don't you? Where's your social I'm trying, media presence? I'm trying right now. I've never seen you post anything on Twitter or Facebook. I'm constantly posting. The oh, truth. Actually, I the probably truth. don't follow you, to be honest. That's why. But I might. And if I do follow you, you I haven't seen it. anything. You might learn something, Dev. At all. You might learn something about how to... About what? How to play melee? I learned to be a more complete person, you know? <laughs> you? All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, that, no, those were... The first set was pretty good, I thought. Oh, yeah. I, I really like right. both sets. I think they were both great exhibitions. The second uh, set was a um, little bit sloppy from you, I'd say. It was just not up to standard. If you played a bit better in that second set, I would have appreciated it a lot more. But what can what can we do? Well, I, w I just played at my level. You know? I played at the level that's presented to me. Mm, fair enough. And so when I have a substandard opponent, I think that's called sandbagging. Nick. It's not very polite to do so. Well, I just you should never just ever ever make sure that everyone feels involved opponent. in the tournament. You know, that's not how it works. The thing is, it's a game. At the end of the day, it's a game about fun, about enjoyment, about happiness, about laughter, tears, anger. Have you seen uh, it play melee? That is not. Um, that is not what the game surprise, is about. Like the game is a, the nerves, game is about dashing back your stress, opponent and sitting in a corner. Uh, like jubilation sometimes as and well rage when you get that, w and satisfaction when you finally achieve that goal that you've been working towards. We should get a thesaurus for you. <laughs> and also patience. Brad's right. A lot of patience. But also impatience. Yeah, you don't know when to just let it rip. Yeah, like I like I tibbed yeah. you a few times. I uh, I just kept running up and down smashing you because I couldn't be bothered thinking anymore. And sometimes it works because you weren't prepared for it. You know, impatience. Smart. Impatience. That's Smart. Called a, that's called a mix up. Um, mix up. Yeah. It's so you, you didn't care about the win that much. Of course I, I cared about the win. I that. wanted that win so badly. Well, you said to me before that you really wanted the win. Exactly. So, you took it away from me. I guess you just realized that you weren't going to get it. Mm. <laughs> I guess so. I guess like so. subconsciously. I don't mean like consciously. Yeah, but I yeah, mean yeah, you know. Part of you realize you were never going to win. I just don't want to win against you. Yeah, That's it. I would ruin the rankings, and that can't happen. As a, as a PR panelist, I appreciate that. You're not on the PR panel. Am I not? Oh, not for, not for the Australian one. Are you? No. Uh -huh. It's only Sora, I'm pretty sure. 
Well, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is completely fair. Sora plus some people, but just 90% Sora, I believe. Can I be on the panel for the SAPR? I've got some really good ideas. I don't think you show up to enough tournaments in Me, SA. at zero? I've shown up to more tournaments than you have this year. Yeah, well, but this ranking season, even. Bro. Bro. Doesn't seem relevant. Um, I think it does I, I'm like an old thing, like, uh, you know the eye in Lord of the Rings? I'm like that guy. I'm like the big eye. Yep. I just Sauron? See, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what it's called. Sauron. That's the point of it. It's the eye. Yep. Like why do you want to attach a name or a label to everything? I'm just because Big Eye Nick. There exactly. is a name. There is a name attached to it. No, I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm not sore. I'm like the You're eye. like the eye. I'm like As the, in the you idea can see of the everything. Eye. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you don't need me to turn up because I'm I'm stream monstering. So and what, I also what have would, like a kind what of what would sense. be your SAPR right now then, Mr. Panelist? This is the top ten. Well, definitely I'm up there. Somewhere. Um, Somewhere. After that, it gets a bit bit fuzzy, but. Yeah. Um, Based on results, I would have to see the results. Mm. And I've got it in a spreadsheet at home, but I didn't bring my laptop. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. You keep stats. You can do that. Yeah, I, I run simulations on all the people I know and how they would interact uh, with each other. I see. You know. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, you played really well this tournament. And Thank you were very you. clutch against... Um, What's Kai. his name? Yeah. Yeah, the Falco. Yeah, I thought you were gonna lose some of the games that you won with uh, sheer willpower. You gotta, you gotta call it what yep. it is. I earned those games. I earned them a lot. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what happened in those games. I just kind of just did some cheesy options, lost stock every game, and it worked yeah. most of the time. Yeah, well, and Kai, that's Kai started being real safe. He started shooting lasers and uh, yeah. not doing any like threatening options. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty big Falco habit to be honest. Like yeah. once uh, once Sheik's high percentage, they stop trying to fight you, yeah. and then mm, doesn't really work. You should have done laser jabs instead laser of just jabs? lasers to back airs. Probably would have shielded you, would've knocked you down. And then, but like you can't shield you can't shield grab if it's, if it's spaced. I'm pretty yep. sure. No, no, no. Because I usually roll away as soon as he. I started rolling away as soon as he lasered me in one of the games. He would have caught the startup. He roll the laser jab. I see. Is that true? What if he does a high laser? A lot of his lasers were high. The thing and is, once you jab, game. you can cover the roll anyway. It's not like he committed to jumping in the air. Okay. Okay. Laser jab's good. Sheik's roll is good as well. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to disagree. All right, all right. Uh, so anyway, how do you feel winning a how do you feel winning a tournament? You haven't won a tournament for a long time, have you? Not for a while. Honestly, yeah, you're right. It's, it's been, been like long time. three months, four months? At least. At least. How do you feel winning against a top ranked PR player? Why are we still talking? I'm really hungry. Uh, you can get some food if you want. I was going to tell you about the rest of my trip. Yeah, what happened? So after we had Denny's, mm -hmm. we went to like some restaurant near um, the house, and Ludwig uh, bought everyone lunch. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Ludwig, he's the baller. Mm -hmm. Love that guy. Yep. Good guy. And we, cool I person. think I had like some kind of coffee situation. I forget. Coffee situation? Yeah. Ex elaborate. Coffee. How is the coffee in America? Isn't it just black it's, coffee? It's garbage. Most of the time? Coffee in America. The latte is very bad. The coffee. They don't have coffee machines, bad. right? They, just no, they, they do have lattes at Starbucks, but like they're bad. They're bad. Just it, not it's good. It's bad. But aren't most of their coffees like just black coffee? Yeah, yeah. You just if you do it in a pot, if right? You got a, if you I was lined up at Starbucks and they were like, one person was at the at the uh, FPOS machine, and one person was at the like barista latte yeah. making station. And the person at the FPOS machine was like, "Oh, the coffee machine's busy, but is anyone just ordering a coffee?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm ordering a latte." She was like, "No, a coffee." A coffee. Because the coffee? coffee is just like brewed coffee, apparently. Yeah, it's just in a pot, yeah. right? And the latte that is like a special horrible. thing. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. And the lattes were all burned and bad. Oh no, not burnt milk. It just yeah. It tasted horrible. like scorching. I think um, Australia has probably spoiled us for coffee. Yeah, because Australia is good coffee. The only good coffee I had the whole time was uh, at the house. They have a coffee machine because Nick is like uh, one of the guys who lives at the house. Um, you? No, a different Nick. It's, yeah, uh, not me. Yeah. I was there. Don't get me wrong. I was at the house, and my name is Nick. Mm -hmm. But this guy lives at the house and his name is also Nick. Yep. You know Slime when he orders food also puts down Nick at Starbucks. He says I'm, my name's Nick. So you just have like three easy. people going to Starbucks. And when under he's the name with of Nick. me or other Nick, we're just confused every time. Mm -hmm. Insane. His name's not Nick. Just to clarify. Okay. Anyway, after the coffee situation, <laughs> what was the, what was the rest of the story? 
The rest of the story. Something about after going to Denny's. Oh, we just ate some food. Huh? I don't know. Fuck. Where'd you eat? We went to a local on the Thursday. Surely we went to like a good restaurant, right? What a what's a good restaurant there? Home of chicken and waffles. Home of chicken and waffles. Yep. Is that a chain? No. No. Okay. No, it's like a in the heart of where we were staying in Oakland. Yeah. Kind of sketchy area. Not gonna lie. Um, what a lot of homeless people. There was like a shanty town of like homeless people, like in the, like uh, under the underpass, overpass. Sorry. Yeah. Like between us and the venue, we had to walk past every day. It was a bit. It's a bit terrifying, isn't it? I don't it? know whether it's like terrifying. Like, I didn't do anything. One of the guys kept asking who was winning the tournament. That was cool. Hmm. I don't know why he wanted to know. It's curiosity. Anyway, it's like. Basically, the idea, the reason I'm telling you that is to give you an idea of the environment. Yeah. There, there was a chicken and waffles place also in that uh, vicinity, mm -hmm. right next to where we were staying. Mm -hmm. And it's like very soul food kind of like so what is big this portions. It, it fills you with an inner glow. All the, all the dishes, there's like 50 different dishes, and they all have like a name of like a customer or a staff member or something. Mm -hmm. So they're like uh, One two Danny's. saints yeah. treat or whatever. Two Nicholas, Nicholas Waffles. Yeah, I, got, I kept getting the Lord BJ. That was hype. Lord BJ. Okay. Yeah, what, that is, what does that consist four of? Four pieces of chicken, two waffles. It's, it's basically huh. like a big serving. How's the chicken done? Is it fried? Yeah. Fried chicken on waffle. Any fried sauce? Chicken. Syrup? Fried chicken on one side of the plate, waffles on the other side of the plate. There's like creamy butter on the waffles. Yep. Uh, like a couple of slices of orange for you to like drizzle on the waffles. And then a couple of buckets, or a couple of tubs of maple syrup. And you put like most of the maple syrup on the waffle. And then the rest you can like dunk the chicken in. I see, I see. It is really good. That sounds we very, went there, very like, American. We went there twice. It's very good. Yeah, it sounds very American, that dish. And all the, like, all the people who have dishes named after them, there's like little portraits of them every, like, in the restaurant, like around the walls just and put stuff. them on the menu, just right next to the dish item. And the waiter we had was so friendly. I think one thing about America, waiters are very friendly. Because they need to be. I know. To get their tips. A 20% tip. It's a bullshit tip, culture. Tip. I, I completely agree Australians with Australians suck at, like, social skills because we don't literally depend on it yeah Americans, Americans are, are all like amazing at just like kind of right. talking about the weather being friendly whatever yep <laughs> yep I agree press one uh, in the chat if you want to hear more about chicken and waffles <laughs> how do I press one Where's the chat? <laughs> let me let me get on my phone. One second. God, I I really wish there was a place like chicken and waffles in Australia, because I've not felt own, that surely. good after a meal. Like, surely you can make uh, your own chicken and waffles. Do you ever like eat a meal and you f like? I wasn't over full. I was just filled with this like warmth inside. This what? Warmth. Ah, okay. You know, like yeah, heat, yeah. Like I know, I know what you feel. Warmth. Yeah. Warm. Warmth. How else could I... Hotter than cold. Yeah, like, you know. Colder than hot. Yeah. Comfortable, temperature-wise. Yeah, exactly. Like, satisfaction and inner yes. glow. Yes, Like a... Like a <laughs> I know exactly what, you, what you're talking about. Are yeah. you in chat? Is this chicken? your account? Yeah, that's my account. Oh, you said press one. I want to hear more about chicken and waffles. I want to hear more about the American food. Like, the, the soda sizes are massive, right? They are big. That's one thing that's different about McDonald's. There's um, just soda sizes also, small. Also, one time... We like got home at like 3:30 a.m. on like the Sunday or something of Genesis, mm -hmm. and we were like, "All right, we're just fucked. Let's get McDonald." And we ordered McDonald at like 3:30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then no Uber drivers wanted to pick up the order, and so we waited for like an hour. Can you get a it's like a shitty area, right? Yeah. Like Uber drivers just didn't want to pick it up. And we went for an hour and it didn't come, and it kept getting like pushed back like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it would always say like estimated delivery time like 20 minutes from now. And so we waited and waited and waited, and it was like 5 a.m. And then Marky like called Uber, and uh, was like, "Yeah, look, they're not delivering our food." And they gave us a refund. And then they were like, "But you can have the McDonald's free." And we were like, "Well, I guess if we're getting free McDonald's, we'll stay up even later." So we like stayed up to like 6 a.m. waiting yeah. for this McDonald's. And then eventually we were like, "Yeah, literally, it's just not coming." Wouldn't it be cold? Oh, you, d you actually just did not get one. We didn't get it. Could you like use the offer for next day, McDonald's? I mean, we already got reimbursed for the you know fair enough you should get more I complain agree to, complain to Uber you get like three vouchers for that three vouchers of free delivery I should tell Marky yeah for sure but yeah McDonald's in general uh, the bacon double quarter pounder mm -hmm. is a good meal the grand mac the grand big mac also good what else did you have so you had chicken and waffles 
burgers, I'm guessing, in America. But you were there for like four weeks or three weeks, right? Yeah. Surely you had something more. I'm trying to think what was... We, went, we had you KBBQ went to one time. KBBQ, okay, yeah. <laughs> we went with Ludwig. Ludwig, uh, as I mentioned, a baller. Um, basically, he like bet with Atrioc. Whoever, whoever's team of like seven gamers lost mini golf yeah. would like pay for everyone's meal. Okay. And it was originally going to be like the team would split it between us. But then Ludwig was just like, fuck it, and made another bet, which resulted in him paying for everyone's KBB gear. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's just got it like that. Okay. So we all ate free KBB gear. It was nice. very good. That's like 35 a person, right? What? $30 a person? 35 a person? Probably, probably more. It was, it probably was more. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. And then you said you went to a steak place. How was the steak? Cooked it was, well? It was well marinated. Well marinated? What type of steak? They got different we, we cuts over there. That. They got different <laughs> cuts over there, Nick. Come on. You gotta you gotta, you you gotta about, elaborate you a little you bit more. You wanna hear about the you hear about the steak? Yes, I do. It was like quite uh, it was like it was called like a triple tip, I think. Okay, a yeah. tri tip. Yep, yep. And I got there was a ten ounce version, a seven ounce version. I got the ten ounce. I don't ounce. know what what's the what, what told me to get the seven ounce. What's I got ten ounces. It was bigger than seven, I'll tell you that much. In kilo It was very thick but tender. Yes. Deliciously marinated, and it came with two sides. Uh, yeah. You could choose like any of the. You want to hear about this? Are you still listening? What was it marinated with? Do you, do you know what it was marinated with? I don't Nick? know, but because usually steak places are just salt and pepper and garlic, right? No, no, no. It was like a full marinade situation. Oh, I don't know. I, okay. I didn't make it. I just ate it. Oh, but can't you taste? And it? I had it with like a, a quinoa side, and then can't also like uh, loaded ma loaded mashed potatoes, which is mashed potatoes with okay. bacon and cheese. Yes. And I paid extra like dollar for that, and it probably wasn't worth it. Mashed potatoes with bacon. That sounds like it's worth a dollar. Surely, just one dollar. That's I'll like be one dollar. It wasn't. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you had a ten ounce steak. However big a ten ounce is. Yeah, it was ten whole ounces. Hey, chat. What is t how how much <laughs> is ten ounces actually? Hey everyone, thanks for watching today. It's actually a pretty hype Evac tournament we had going. Um, if you haven't already, please follow the stream. And um, the next tournament will be probably Cheese League on Sunday the 16th. I'll be streaming at home some other games as well. Um, so you can catch my Twitter. Um, yeah, catch me on Twitter at KB Kaiser for when I go live and stuff. Um, yeah, if you haven't followed SA Smash TV everywhere as well and uh, Catch Warriors SA, go follow them as well. Catch Warriors SA on Twitter, SA Smash TV on YouTube. Um, and if you want to get involved in the Adelaide scene, hit up South Australian Super Smash Brothers on Facebook. Um, yeah, I just finished uh, uploading all the Ultimate VODs for Big Cheese 2. We had in total a hundred and like. 15 or 16 videos and I don't think any other majors had anything close to that on the VOD front for just one game so I, I'm like petty but like I'm proud so my subtle challenge to every other tournament more VODs please but um yeah, that, it takes a lot of time in the end yeah we, ha we ran like what four yeah we ran four streams at Big Cheese crazy Big Cheese 2 stream content was pretty hype, actually. Um, yeah, so I think I'm done, everyone. I'm gonna, I might find someone to host, and I'm gonna dip. Uh, if I know Nez well, he will probably be streaming right now. And there he is. There he is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna host Nez. He's doing controllers. That fucking hurt my ears. <laughs> Christ. Um. I hope that didn't blow you up stream, but um, I'm going to host Naz. I think he's playing some netplay, so say hi from us. Let him know that SA Nick won the tournament, and I'm going to dip. Peace, everyone. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're looking to support me going to Phantom, check out my Twitter. It's in the pin tweet. I got fucked by MBN recently, and moving houses, having to overlap rent, so I'm down a lot of money that I really put aside for the trip. And if you want to help me go play video games in Sydney, essentially, just hit that up because that would be really nice. Um, cause I, I, like, real shit, I really want to go play Sound Voltex in Sydney. And also, I also really want to, like, do well at Phantom. Like, I feel like it's in me to get a top eight, maybe, 
if I'm playing really well. And I reckon if I play enough around the weekend and I hit up Nick, probably we'll see what happens. All right, I'm done, guys. Thanks for the stream, and we're dipping. Peace.